A giant TNT ball spawned next to JJ and Mikey's family. So we need to build a secure house so they can survive the explosion. Why is this always happening, Louie? These TNT balls keep spawning out of nowhere. I know, right, Pip? And even worse, JJ and Mikey's houses are right next to it. We need to secure them and make sure that JJ and Mikey are safe. But how long do we have left, Louie? Well, it seems like we've only got until the sun goes down to build a secure base to protect them. Or else they will be exploded. And uh, we won't have any friends anymore. What are we waiting for, Louie? Let's get building. All right, Pip. Follow me. First of all, we need to get rid of these houses right here. After all, they are not protected enough to survive a TNT explosion. Well, if they made these houses out of dirt, Ugh. they would have been way safer. What? What do you mean, Pip? These houses are already built out of concrete, which makes them super strong, but not strong enough to survive TNT. And dirt would just be blown away by the explosion. I would say these concrete houses would be better than a dirt house. Well, at least dirt can't burn, unlike all this stinky wood. Well, I guess you are right about that, Pib. These houses are built out of wood, and a dirt house would not burn if it was set on fire. So I guess dirt is better in some ways. Anyways, we have almost gotten rid of these houses. And do you know what we're going to do next, Pib? What are we going to do? Well, as you know, TNT will blow through anything like dirt, stone, concrete, and even on some cases, obsidian. So we are going to make a base that can survive any TNT explosion. But where are we going to build it, Louie? Now that JJ and Mikey don't have a house. Well, I think we should build it as far away from the TNT ball as possible. I will start working on the foundation foundation right here by digging out a space inside of the dirt like this. The further away this building is from the TNT blast, the more likely it is to survive. Why did you dig a hole in the ground, Louie? What is this supposed to do? Well, let me show you, Pip. I didn't just dig this hole in the ground for no reason. After all, I'm a pro and I have a reason for everything I do. I'm going to go ahead and get these blocks of iron. One is a black iron block, another is a regular block of iron, and one is a block of refined iron. And refined iron is so much stronger than regular iron. Just look at how it kind of glows. So I'm going to keep placing a bunch of reinforced and refined iron all the way around here. And uh, wait a second, Pip, why are you placing dirt but, around here? Louis, you should know reinforced dirt is way better than reinforced iron. Well, reinforced dirt can survive an explosion, but at the end of the day, Pip, we want our base to look good, right? I mean, JJ and Mikey will not even want to stay inside if it's made out of dirt. How about we just replace this with refined iron, and you can put some dirt in later, once we've dug down into the ground. Oh, fine, Louie. Alright, Pip. Now that we've done this square of refined iron, I say it's time to build a crazy tower! And that will be able to survive the explosion. But towers take ages to build. Do we have enough time to build a tower? Of course we do, Pip. With a little bit of Minecraft building magic. If I go into my creative menu and type Wand of Symmetry, I get this thing right here. And if I place it in the middle on octagonal mode, if I place a block right here, it will place it on all four sides. Look! Wait, that's so cool, Louie. But how are we supposed to build a tower with this? Well, let me show you. If I place a little outline like this, we can make a really cool circular shape. And if we keep building up into the sky, it will build a tower shape. That's so cool! I know, right? And we can also reinforce the edges with a bit of iron to make it look way cooler. Um, Louie, I don't know about you, but I think this needs some glass. How are we supposed to look outside of it? Whoa, 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 Pip. I mean, this does look pretty cool, but let me show you where I think the glass would be better. Let me build up just a little bit higher up like this. And then let's put the glass in this area right here. Then we can go over it with this black iron, and then we can cover it with regular iron again. And now we have this kind of tower-looking building, and it looks awesome! This is really cool, Louis, but I really think we should put some inside of it. Hmm, you do make a good point, Pip. How about this? Let's just fill this thing up with this reinforced iron, and then let's break a hole in each corner like this. 
This will be our base of operations to keep us safe from the TNT blast. But what we should use is these keypad doors. I want you to take one of them and put a code you will remember. As you can see, I'll go to this front door right here. I'll place down this keypad door and I'll put my favorite passcode. One, two, three, four. You guys think that's a good passcode? Oh, Louie, my code is going to be 876549873824. What? What? Pip, that was the longest password I've ever heard. Are you even going to remember that? Of course, Louie. I have photographic memory. Uh-huh, photographic memory. What does that even mean, guys? Uh, like the video if you know. But anyways, I'm going to place another keypad door on this side with the same code, one, two, three, four. And I guess Pip can put the really complicated password door over here. But now that we've gone ahead and made these keypad doors, let's build a second floor on this thing. This is where we will be able to see if the TNT is about to explode. So let's just build all around like this out of iron blocks huh? and fill in this upstairs area. All right. And now we have all of this space upstairs to do whatever we want. What do you think we should place up here, Pip? Uh, I'm not sure, but how are we supposed to get up here from the bottom floor? Oh, you make a good point. How about this, Pip? I'll break a hole in this corner right here and I'll place some ladders going up. But not some regular ladders. I'm going to use these really reinforced bunker ladders. They can survive an explosion. Oh, I bet these ladders can survive a nuclear blast. Of course they can. They are used in bunkers after all. Well, Louie, I really think we should add a bathroom up here. Because bathrooms are my favorite. Well, I guess we could do that. After all, JJ and Mikey are going to need someone to take a pee just in case. And I think these windows are the perfect pee color to put in a bathroom. Room. I love pee! Okay, Pip, you keep saying that. But anyways, I'm going to get some obsidian because we need to make sure that if any TNT lands on the top of this building, it will not explode through the roof and destroy the bathroom. Otherwise, we would have nowhere to poop. This looks good, Louie, but we need to start building the bathroom now! All right, Pip, let me follow you down inside and I'll let you take the reins on this one because I know you love bathrooms. I'll just make sure to block out a few windows so you have some space to build. All right, Louie, you know I'm an expert bathroom designer. So first of all, we need to start with the carpet because this bathroom needs to look amazing. Wait, all right, I do like the yellow carpet design, but how about we do something like this? I'll get some red carpet too, and I'll place one right here, one right here, and then we'll do a smiley face. <gasps> it almost looks like a McDonald's bathroom. Kind of, but no, this is not a McDonald's. This is a secure base to survive that TNT. We only have like 17 minutes left, Pip. We have to keep going. You're right, Louie. But if JJ and Mikey are going to stay in our base for a long time, they need to smell good. So we need to put a shower. A shower? Pip, you still have the wand of symmetry. You just placed two showers. I mean, two showers are better than one. I guess so, but that just seems like a mistake you made. But anyway, show me what else you're going to put in this bathroom. All right, next, you can't have a bathroom without a bathtub. I mean, you are right, but, but why would they just shower right here? It's going to go into the ground, and then it's going to flood the base. How about we do this? Let's put a bath underneath the shower there, and then we'll place another bath under that shower. This way, the water will not leak into our base, and it will go down into the bath and down the drain. That's a great idea, Louie. Come on, hop in the bathtub. Let's take a bath shower together. Um, Pip, I do not want to take a bird bath right now, but... What is a bathroom without a toilet? We need one of those. You're right, Louie. First of all, let's put the toilet right here. And then the toilet paper up on the wall. That is looking pretty good. But I have a really good idea on what we can do next, huh? Pip. Look at this. I'm going to get a sink like this. And let's make it one of these oak kitchen sinks so that it looks a little bit nicer with the wood on the bottom. Now, I'm going to get some stripped oak logs and place them on either side, just like this. And now we have a bathroom counter to put a bunch of things on. But I'm not done yet, Pip. Watch this. I'm going to go and grab a mirror. <gasps> and now we have a huge bathroom mirror. This is awesome. Oh, my. 
Who's that Louie in the mirror? What? Wait, why are you looking at me in the mirror? Oh, Louie. <laughs> Ew, oh, oh my gosh, what? Guys, that was so weird. Pimp just tried to kiss my reflection in the mirror. Louie, where did you go? We have to finish this bathroom. Oh, no, we don't. I think we're done with that bathroom now. All right, Louie, well, we finished the bathroom, but what should we do next? Well, follow me, Pimp. After all, we've only built a small tower. We need some more defenses on the outside of the base. But what can we do out here, Louie? Well, I have a pretty good idea. Just let me grab an arrow really quickly, because I can use them to do cool things. I'll grab this spectral arrow and watch this, guys. Boom! Boom! Oh. Boom! With this spectral arrow, I can create a huge obsidian wall going around our entire base! This way, it will stop any TNT trying to get through. And it's blast-proof, so it takes no damage at all. Where did you learn how to do this, Louis? This is so cool. No. I just picked up a spectral arrow one day, and, and it worked just like this. So I thought I'd use it in this build challenge. Oh, Louis, give me one of those arrows. I want to make a circle out of reinforced dirt. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not letting you put dirt all over our base, Pip. You've got to be careful. All right, but now we have a bunch of obsidian. But what do we do now? Well, the obsidian is blast-proof, but do you know what else is blast-proof, Pip? Um, let me think. Water? Yep, water is correct. Grab a water bucket really quickly, and we are going to dig out a massive pond in the middle of this obsidian. This way, we can put some water in the middle, and it will protect anything underneath our base from the explosions. That sounds awesome, Louie, but... You said underneath our base, Louis. Are we putting a secret bunker? Yep, of course we are. And I think I have a really good idea on what we can build underneath our base. But you guys have to keep watching to find out. Let me just go ahead and keep filling up this water like this. And this should be okay. Let's just make sure we have a nice amount of water in here. So that we don't just explode and nothing is protected. This water is very, very important to our base. I'll make sure there's at least a one block gap going around the entire base. This way we'll have somewhere to walk as well. And there we go. That's looking pretty cool. All right, we've got our water down. But Louie, can we please start working on this bunker right now? I'm so excited for it. Oh, of course we can, Pip. Let's go ahead and keep using this wand of symmetry. This way we can build it much faster. I'll put it to octagonal mode. And let's make a way down to our bunker. Let's make it three blocks wide like this. And all we have to do is just break out some gaps like this. And we can make a nice bunker entrance. Let's just dig down maybe oh, like 20 blocks. I think that should be able to survive the explosion. Maybe a few more though. Let's just dig down a little tiny bit further. And yep, that should be okay. Oh, Louie, the deeper we go... The safer Mikey and JJ are. I know, Pip. This is exactly where Mikey and JJ are going to go. But they're not going into this really, really disgusting hole. We are going to make it look really cool. So they have somewhere to live. But how are we supposed to make a hole look cool? Well, let me show you. First of all, let's grab some obsidian from over here. This hole has to be extremely secure, and we cannot have any TNT exploding inside. This is really important, because if TNT gets inside of here, it will go inside of the bunker, and JJ and Mikey might explode. And there we go. We filled in this hole with a ton of obsidian. This way, it's now blast-proof. But now it's time to get a little bit technical. I'm going to use some commands in order to make a massive room underneath this base. So all I'm going to do, Pip, is type in this command, slash slash cut, and boom! <gasps> Look at all of this room under here we have to build with. How did you do that? That's so cool! I'm just very good with Minecraft commands. Do you guys know how to use admin commands in Minecraft? Comment down below what the best command you've ever used is. The best admin command I've used is set dirt. Set dirt? Oh my gosh, Pip. That is terrible. All you would be able to do with that command is make a dirt wall. But I'm about to show you an even better command that will blow your mind. Are you ready? Uh, show me, Louis. Show me. All right, watch this. I'm going to go up here and take this area there. Then I'm going to go all the way down to the other corner and grab this block. Now I'll fill it back up. 
and do the slash slash replace command. What is this supposed to do, Louie? Watch this. Boom! <gasps> How did you do that? It's just a bit of command magic, Pip. It's not that much. Oh, Louie, this place looks so cool now. But I feel like it's missing some color. I feel like it needs more yellow and red. Yeah, it is very much just obsidian right now, and... It kind of looks a bit ugly like this, so let's go ahead and make the floor out of yellow and red. I'll go ahead and use some more commands just like this. And now watch this, Pip. I'm going to set it to yellow and red. Now we have an awesome floor. This is amazing, Louie. I'm loving this space already. Me too, Pip, but watch this. I have a really good idea on what we can do now. Let's go ahead and get some quartz. We have to start working on the inside of this base now. So let's get some slabs and some blocks, just like this, and place them around the outside. But first, we need somewhere we can land. So let's go ahead and make a landing pad just in the middle of the base. I say right here is good enough. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is grab some redstone fans. I'll place them right here, just where these quartz blocks are. And then I'll surround it with these quartz blocks. This should work as our landing pad. And let me show you how this will work. So if I get a button like this and place it in the middle, when I press it, it powers all of these fans. But let's go ahead and get some redstone dust too. This way I can power every single one. Even the ones in the corner. And now when I press the button, say goodbye, Pip! Alright, you flew all the way back up to the top of our base. So that is perfect. All we need to do now is just make a pad at the top so we don't just fall down and die. And I think to do that, I'll just use some gold fans. This way, I don't have to worry about moving. I can just put some gold fans at the top, and if Pip tries out that fan machine again... And now if Pip presses that button, watch this. Wow. We get launched up and right up here. Now, if we need to go back down, we can just hop down and... Wait, that's actually something that I think is wrong with the base. We need to make sure that we have some slime so we can land and not die. So let's put it right here. I'll move the button and put it right in the middle. Now, we can press the button, get launched up, and when we want to go back down, all we have to do is hop down onto the slime block and boom! Oh, Louis, this is such a genius idea! I would have never thought of this. Yep, thank you very much, Pip. I am very smart sometimes. But what I think I want to do now is make a little quartz ring going around the entire of this room. This way, we can make as many rooms as we want in this underground bunker. This is going to be a ring that goes around the, the side of this obsidian and lets us choose what rooms we want to use. So let's say we land right here and we get hungry. We could just walk all the way over here and then inside of the wall we could build a restaurant. Huh? So I'll just mark out a space where our restaurant will go. I think I'll make it one more block wide, like that. Now, Pip, let's go ahead and build this quartz ring going around the entire thing. This way, we can go to whatever room we want, and we can totally survive that TNT blast. Mikey and JJ are going to love this. Oh, Louie, there's no way Mikey and JJ are going to die on our watch. I know, right? This is one of the best bunkers I've ever seen in the entire of Minecraft. There we go. We just completed this quartz ring going around the entire base. But now it's time to just add some pathways coming out of the middle. This way, we can move to whatever side we want. I think I'll make four pathways. One coming off of each end like this. And then we can make each side either Mikey or JJ's side. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to grab an axe really quickly and do some commands. On this side, I want it to be Mikey's side. So I'm going to make this wall out of reinforced lime wool. This is how you know this is Mikey's side. And then on the opposite side over here, I'm going to go and replace it with red wool. But not any regular wool. Reinforced red wool. Just like this. Now we have one side for Mikey and one side for JJ. And then I think we should have one side for you and me, Pip. So I'll do one side red and I'll do another side yellow. Let's do that right now. And boom. Look at this. We have a yellow side for you, a red side for me, another red side for JJ, and a green side for Mikey. Oh, Louie, before this room was just oh, a pretty, but now it's so no. colorful. 
Yeah, and it looks so cool. What do you say that we go ahead and start adding some rooms around this thing? I want a restaurant first. So let's just dig out a massive space in this hole right here. And then we will be able to put a nice restaurant down here. What is your favorite place to eat, Pip? Oh, Louie, definitely not KFC. Oh, well, that would make sense because you're a duck. And they sell chicken and duck at KFC. Oh, I do like a KFC, though. It's really good. Wait, what, Louie? Did, did you just say you like KFC? What? Yes, I do. Of, of course I do. Oh, Louie, you better not like KFC. Otherwise, I'll unleash my wrath on you and turn you into KFC. But, but I'm a human. You can't turn me into KFC. Uh, you know what? I don't even want to know what that would look like. I'll but find anyways, a way. Tip. Oh, I know you will. But anyways, Pip, come on. Let's make this ground out of this quartz block like this. This way, there is somewhere for people to stand and sit in the restaurant. And then let's dig out a little bit more space in the back. This is where the kitchen will be. And just before we start building it, I'm going to place down a bunch of smooth stone slabs like this. And this is where the employees will stand when they are serving you your food. But, Louis, what food should we even serve? Hmm, I don't know. Since you don't want KFC and I don't want whatever you eat, seeds, I think we'll go ahead and make a McDonald's. <gasps> I love McDonald's. I know you do, Pip. So let's do this. I'm going to grab some yellow concrete and some red concrete. And we are going to make the walls red like this. These are the McDonald's colors. I'll do a red wall like this. And so you know it's a McDonald's, I'll go ahead and add a massive yellow M on the wall. Do you guys think this looks like a McDonald's now? I definitely think it looks like a McDonald's, Louie. I would totally eat here. Oh, I know you would. Pip, you would eat anywhere. And there we go. We have not one M, but two M's. But what should we build the roof out of? Um, another M. <laughs> another M? Okay, I guess that kind of works. But instead, let's build this out of yellow and do a red M. I know the M in McDonald's is uh, yellow, but it should be fine if we build it out of red. All right, here we go. How are we going to build this? I'll go ahead and make a bit of space here. And I guess this M is going to have to be a really long M. So let me just build another line going down the wall here. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. This way, it's mirrored and it's symmetrical. And Whoa, that's a lot of M's. The more M's, the better. Yep, I think this is awesome. But we still haven't finished this place. We need to go ahead and build the kitchen. So let's build a few blocks in like this. And let's carve out a bit of space in this wall so that we can fill in some deep fryers, maybe an oven, and we can make some fries in here. Sounds awesome, Louis. Let's do it. All right, Pip. So back here, we need to make sure this looks like a kitchen. So I'll do this quartz archway like this that you can walk through and start cooking food. And now we are going to need to use a material for the floor. And what better than some kitchen tiles? So let's grab that and fill it all in. Look how awesome these kitchen tiles look. It looks just like the inside of a McDonald's kitchen. And there we go. We filled it all in. Oh, Louie, all this McDonald's talk is really making me hungry. Where's the food at? Well, you do make a good point, Pip. We have no food yet, but how about you go ahead and place some things in to cook some food with while I do the wall? I think we should make the walls out of stone bricks. This way, they are still strong, but look like the inside of a restaurant's kitchen. Just like that. It's awesome. And Pip, you're building all of your ovens right in the way of my stone bricks. Maybe we should have done the walls first. But it's fine, because I just completed the walls, and now I'm going to do the roof out of red concrete, like this. This looks like the inside of a McDonald's kitchen, and I think it looks awesome. And look at these ovens and a deep fryer. This is awesome. Yep, Louie. Now if you eat KFC, I'm going to put you in the deep fryer. Whoa, you wouldn't do that. But anyways, Pip, let me show you something else really quickly. I'll place some quartz pillars just like this, and, and I'm going to grab a brewing stand. This way, I can add two of them right here, and these are our hot chocolate machines. 
let me just go ahead and get some black like this and place it on top. This way it kind of looks like one of those modern coffee machines. Then I'll go ahead and grab some iron doors and place them facing backwards inside like this. This might be a little difficult to do, but now these look like hot chocolate machines. Isn't that awesome? Oh, Louie, I love cold chocolate. Cold chocolate? No, 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 Piff. It's hot chocolate. Hot chocolate is way better than uh, cold chocolate. Oh, Louie, have you even had cold chocolate? I never have had cold chocolate, but I don't drink chocolate when it's cold, Piff. That's just really sad. Oh, Louie, I love cold chocolate. How you make it is just by breaking up a chocolate bar, putting it in a cup, and drinking it. What? Uh, Pip, you are drinking a chocolate bar? Surely that would really hurt, right? Huh? You can't drink a solid chocolate bar like a liquid hot chocolate. Well, maybe humans can't, but ducks can. Of course you ducks can. You're so weird. But... Anyways, take a look at this, Pip. We have just made a McDonald's inside of the doomsday bunker we are building to survive the TNT. But we don't have any uh, seats. All right, Louie, I'll start placing seats. Wait, Pip, they are not seats. They're beds. That's what? completely wrong. Can't they just sit on the bed? I mean, I guess eating food in bed is really fun. But no, this is a McDonald's. We need to make sure that the customers have regular seats to sit on. So let's get rid of these and add some seats on the walls like this. And maybe we should add some tables. So let's do this instead. I'll place these pillars. I'll place these seats. And boom! Yep, Louie, this is looking good. Good job with the seat choice. But I would Thank have you. used beds. Oh, I know you would have. But this is all we can do for now. Pip, this is our McDonald's. And maybe just to make sure that we know where the room is, let's surround it with some quartz like this. And now we can start working on the next room. What do you think we should do? Well, we've already got a bathroom and a huh? kitchen. Oh, we need to make an armory. Wait, that's a good point. What side should we build it on, Pip? We've built the McDonald's on JJ's side, but do you want to build the armory on your side or my side? Hmm, Louie. Well, red is really scary, so I think we should make the armory on your side. All right, good choice, Pip. Let's make it just as wide as the McDonald's was, and let's build out a massive space into the wall. And there we go. I've completed the space that we have to use to make the armory. Well, Louie... The space is looking good, but it's not looking scary yet. So I have a perfect idea. Oh, no. You always have really scary ideas. Go ahead, Pip. Show me what you're thinking. I'm going to use fake lava and put it in these holes. Wait, what? You're going to make fake lava drip from the ceiling? Whoa, that is really scary. Yes, and I made fake lava because if it accidentally spills everywhere, it won't hurt us. That is really smart, too, Pip. Good job with this idea. It's amazing. How about we do the same thing on the other side as well? This way, we can have lava on both sides and... Whoa! Wait, what are you doing? Oh, Louie, I'm just trying to see if we can make this any better. Maybe we can make it look cooler. Oh, yeah, Pip. This is definitely looking cooler. I love how you've put these iron bars around it. Let's go ahead and just add some of those. And whoa, that's awesome. How about we do the fake lava on the other side and do the same thing there? But while you do that, I'm going to get some blocks to put on the walls. And I think I'll get some netherite blocks and some nether bricks. This way, it'll match the red color on this side and it'll look really scary like the nether. Let me just place these netherite blocks in between the lava like this. And then let's start building up with these nether bricks. This is really scary. I'm going to go ahead and do a wall design like this. You guys can follow along if you like. If you want to build the exact same base as me, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end. And then you can see what this base will look like. And you can copy it for yourselves. But now that I've done this design, it's time to go ahead and add some obsidian for the roof. Because you need obsidian to get to the nether. I'll use this regular obsidian, but also this crying obsidian huh? to add a bit of detail. Oh, Louie, and you know what? I'm going to add the scariest block in Minecraft. Wait, Pip, 
Did you just add dirt to our armory? That is not scary at all! What? How is it not scary? Huh? It scares it's... all the monsters. Well, it scares me, Pip, because of how bad it is! Huh? Don't worry, Pip. You'll get better in Minecraft one day, and then you'll be able to absolutely flex on me with your amazing building skills, too! But for now, you're just a noob, so just keep trying, okay? Oh, Louie, you know I'm not a noob. I'm secretly a pro. Uh-huh. If you were really a pro, you wouldn't be building out of dirt. You're just lying to me. Uh, uh no, no. I just put... I just put down to make you think I was a noob. Yeah, yeah. Sure thing. Listen, guys, if you think Pip is secretly a pro, comment down below. But if you think Pip is a noob, then subscribe! Because you should be part of the Louie Legends, like me. But here we go. Now, I'm going to build this ground out of this reinforced red wool. This way, we can have an awesome red carpet to walk down, and we can feel just like celebrities. Wow. On this carpet, I feel you like the king of all ducks. But what do we add now, Louie? Well, since this is an armory room, we need to add some armor. So how about this? I'll split off this wall into two pieces with this obsidian. And let's put some armor on this side and that side. You can place your armor right here, Pip. And I'll place my armor right here. And let's see who's his best. Let's do it, Louie. My armor is going to look better than yours. Oh, no, it's not. I'm getting my armor stands out right now, Pip. Guys, look at this. I'm going to go ahead and get the best armor in the game. It's called Dragon Steel Armor, and it's amazing. All I have to do is just take all of these and place them onto an armor stand. And not only one armor stand, but I think I'll do... How many do I want? One, two, three! Let me just place my Dragon Steel Armor down like this... And this is looking awesome! Now, let's go ahead and grab a chest. Because we are going to need a bunch of armor and weapons to survive that TNT explosion. I'll go ahead and also give myself a dragon steel sword. Or maybe one of these dragon bone swords. And maybe I should give myself an icy one too. This way, I might be able to stop the TNT from exploding if I hit one. And there we go. We have an ice dragon bone sword and a fire dragon bone sword. And oh, wait a second, Pip. Why are you walking over there? Are you done? Yep, Louie, I'm all done. All right, let me see what you did. And uh, Pip, why have you just got golden armor here? Well, is something wrong, Louie? Um, yes, there is something wrong, Pip. Look, I have this super OP dragon steel armor, and you have gold armor? That breaks really easily, you know? Gold is just like butter. Well, what do you mean, Louis? Gold is super shiny, which means it's super good. Uh-huh, why do I not believe you? Well, Louis, if you don't like my armor, you're going to like my chest next. I put a secret chest behind my lava. Wait, what? Seriously? That's actually really cool. Where is it? Wait, I found it. And, and um, Pip, why have you got wooden swords and bows behind the lava? That's not very strong. Why does it have to be secret? Oh, Louie, it's super OP. Look, the swords do four attack damage. That's like half your health. Well, the thing is, Pip, it wouldn't do half your health if you were wearing full dragon steel armor. Tell you what, let me do something really quickly. I'll put myself in survival mode, and I'll wear my dragon steel armor. And you hit me as hard as you can with that sword. All right, Louie. Since you asked for it. Go ahead, Pip. Hit me. Come on, Louie. Die. Ow. Uh, oh, wait. No, I don't want to say ow, because you did no damage. <laughs> Go on, hit me again. Hit me again. Hit me as many times as you can. It won't hurt. Okay, come on. Ow, ow, ow. Wait, Pip, you just switched to a netherite sword, and it's still doing no damage. What do you mean, Louie? I don't have a netherite sword. Um, Pip, you should know that netherite swords do not burn in lava. Look, what? it's right there. How did that get there? Oh, that must have came from your chest or something, Louie. No, that's not what happened, Pip. You were just lying to me about what sword you were using. And since your wooden sword does no damage and your netherite sword does no damage, I think it's safe to say this armor is the best in Minecraft. Oh, Louis, how did you get this 
armor. You must be hacking. I've never seen this armor before. Nope, it's actually modded armor, Pip. Because as you know, mods are really, really crazy in Minecraft. And they give you such crazy things like this. Wait, we can use modded armor? Of course you can. Why are you using gold? That's like regular Minecraft armor. Oh, Louie, let me show you what I'm going to use now. All right, go ahead and... Oh, no, did you just put a Batman suit on the novice, Dad? Yes, I did, Louie, and I'm going to fight crime. Pip, why does your voice always go so deep when you put the Batman armor anywhere? This is always so confusing. I don't know, Louie. It must be the suit. No, I bet it's just the helmet. You know what? Let me just grab this and... uh, Yeah! I can't even throw it in the lava. Come on. Yeah! All right, there we go. I got rid of the helmets. Now what does your voice sound like? Uh, what do you mean, what does my voice sound like? It's back to normal. It's just that Batman helmet. It makes you sound weird. It gives you a voice changer. Oh, Louie, now I don't have a helmet, so I have to use one of yours. That's fine. My helmet's actually way better. But Pip, we don't have much time. So we can't keep dawdling in this armory. Huh? We've done a restaurant and an armory now, but what else should we put here? Well, Louie, I've actually got a genius idea. We should build a roller coaster! Wait, Pip, not just a roller coaster, but let's build a transport system to get us around this base. This is a perfect idea. Let me just grab some rails from my inventory here. And then, let's grab some redstone blocks. Now, all we need is a minecart. Or maybe a few. And what we are going to do is grab a block of redstone and place a huge powered rail line going all the way down here. This way, we could go both ways inside of this base. Now we'll just do regular rails going back around here. And then we'll place another redstone block in the middle like this. And do the same thing. We'll put more powered rails. And as you guys know, these things make you go so fast. And, oh, wait a second. Why is there a chicken here? Is that a duck? Yep, Louie. I put a duck in a mine cart. Oh, my gosh. Get that duck down there until <gasps> it's done, Pip. It has to loop all the way around. Louie, you just punched my cousin Jeff. Uh, are you okay, Jeff? Oh, I'm sorry, Pip. I didn't mean to. I was just trying to build the roller coaster. Oh, Louie, you should be ashamed of yourself. Jeff told me that he wants seeds right now. Or else, he said. Oh, my gosh. You know what, Pip? How about this? We, we will push a bunch of these minecarts around this base right now. And then let's start building a farm for Jeff. This way, he can have as many seeds as he wants. Is that okay with him? All right. Sounds like a great idea, Louie. But time to put more cousins on mine cards. Oh, my gosh. Look how many of these chickens there are. This is crazy. But now we've got a bunch of ducks in our base, Pip. Come over here. We are going to build a seed farm on your side. So let's make sure to make this thing really, really long. This way we can fit as many seeds as possible in this thing. And there we go. Look at all of this space we have now to build this farm, Pip. Louie, I love it. Let's start putting seeds down. All right, go ahead, Pip. But we can't just go placing seeds down straight away. We need to actually build the farm area. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and use admin commands. Watch this, Pip. I'm going to set it to farmland. <gasps> and now we have loads of farm area. But, oh no, it's drying up. Pip, we need to place some water. Start putting down water. Start putting down water. Make sure that it's spaced out evenly like this. We can't have it looking too messy or the farm won't be efficient. Oh, Louie, this should be good, right? I, I think it is. Yeah, that looks awesome, Pip. And I've just replaced all of the dirt with farmland again. So now instead of being dry, the farmland is getting huh? wet, which means we should be able to grow some crops. So let's go ahead and put down a ton of seeds in this place. And wait a second. Why can't I put seeds down? Silly, Louie. You didn't work on a farm like I did. You can't make a big farm underground without light. Wait, that's actually a good point, Pip. Plants need light in order to survive. And if it doesn't have enough, you can't place down the seeds because they can't even survive. Let's go ahead and place down a ton of light. Huh? And I think I've got a good idea on how we're going to do this. I'll put a ton of these quartz blocks just like this going all the way across like that. 
And now, I'll grab these things called end rods. And these kind of look like the lights you would find in a farm. Let's just place these quartz blocks on both sides, and then I can start placing the end rods. And there we go. Now let's get these, these end rods placed down and connect both sides up to each other like this. This is looking so cool. And the best part is, and the best part is, it's letting off these really magical looking particles, which kind of looks like it's putting magic on our crops. This is amazing, Louis, but wait, I just realized all of these walls are covered in stone. We need oh, to make, make these walls look better. You make a good point, Pip. Let me show you something I learned from building school. This way, we can make a really cool design for the wall. I'll go ahead and I will place a block like this in the middle. Then I'll place some stripped oak going into it like this. Now, all I have to do is just place some like this too. And then I should be able to copy this pattern with this axe. And then all I have to do is go over here and type slash slash set clipboard. And now watch this, Pip. Boom! <gasps> Look at that awesome pattern I just put on the wall. Now I'll do it again on this side. How did you make such a cool design with commands? It's just huh? simple commands, really. But look at that. We have this really cool design there. Then this long design going all the way down the wall. This is awesome, Louie, but what about the roof? You make a good point here, Pip. Well, how about this? We need to make sure that no TNT gets inside this farm. How about I replace every block that isn't glowstone with obsidian? <gasps> this way, we still have our lights on the roof, but we have a blast-proof roof that cannot be broken through by the TNT. Oh, Mikey and JJ are going to love this farm. I know they are, Pip. I'm extremely excited to see what they think. All right, Louie, so we've got majority of our rooms right now, but I really think we need some water. As a duck, I love swimming in water. I know you do, Pip, but wait a second. I think this base is so secure right now that I don't think we really need to add any more security measures. How about we go ahead and add all of the things that we want in here? Like maybe a swimming pool for you. We can add a swimming pool? Of course we can. Come down here. Let's dig out some space for our pool. Let's just make it maybe this many blocks wide and this many blocks high. That looks pretty cool. And now let's dig it down into the ground. So let's go all the way down here and do a nice deep pool for you. All right, there we go, Pip. Look at all of this space I just dug out. This looks cool, Louie, but most swimming pools I've been in don't have stone in them. Oh, you make a good point, Pip. We need to do something better than stone. And what better block to use inside of a swimming pool than these awesome diorite tiles? Maybe some of these pool tile blocks too. Let's put some of these pool tiles along the edges of the pool side. This looks really cool. It's just what you find in a normal swimming pool. Okay, Louie, let me help you. Let me just build this with you. Thank you, Pip. The more people we have building this, the quicker we can get this build done. And the faster we can get Mikey and JJ in here and nice and safe. And there we go. We have all of these walls filled in with these pool tiles. But now it's time to fill the bottom with these diorite kitchen tiles. They might be tiles for a kitchen, but they look like the kind of tiles you'd find at the bottom of a swimming pool. Usually, this is what swimming pool bottoms are made out of. Kitchen tiles! Wait, why would they put kitchen tiles in a swimming pool? Well, that's because, Pip, they are waterproof. And they keep water from falling out of them and going into the ground underneath. Did you know if there's too much water underground, it can cause a landslide? <gasps> what? Yes, Pip, and that's really dangerous. If a landslide happens underneath our swimming pool, everyone who's swimming might die. And we don't want that. Oh, Louis, that wouldn't be good. Maybe if we put more ducks in the swimming pool, it will help prevent landslides. I mean, I guess so. That looks okay. But how about we do this now, Pip? Come up here and help me add some more kitchen tiles to this ground over here. We are going to surround the pool and then add an area where we can do some sunbathing. So let's just add a little bit of a rectangle area over here. Oh. This is where we will add the sunbeds and we'll be able to chillax by the pool. There we go. Look at 
that! And now we have all of this space right here. It's time to get our deck chairs. So let's get some of those and also some of these oak decks. Perfect! Now let's go ahead and place these deck chairs in around like this. And we are going to add some umbrellas in too. Because when you're sunbathing, sometimes you need some shelter from the sun or you'll get sunburned. But now, Pip, it's time to fill up the pool. So let's get these blocks and replace them with water! Wait, the ducks? Oh, good. They, they know how to swim. Well, of course they would, Pip. They are ducks, like you. You know how to swim, right? Of course I know how to swim, Louie. It's just these are baby ducks. See, look, I'm way bigger than them. Well, that's a good point. How about this, Pip? Show us that you can swim! All right, Louie, let's just go for a swim! All right, go ahead, Pip. Uh, you have to swim up, you know. You, All right. you can't go under the water. I'm swimming. Let's go! Um, Pip, you're just sinking to the bottom. I thought ducks were able to swim. What's going yes, on? Yes, I can swim, but wait. Uh, uh, Pip, Pip, come uh, on, you've got to get out of there. You're going to drown. Help come on, me, come help on. Me. Up, 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 up. Go, go, go. Come on, just a bit uh, more. And oh, my goodness, Pip, you almost died in there. Oh, Louie, maybe ducks can't swim after all. I cannot believe you, Pip. You almost died in there, and I had to come in and save you. You know, humans aren't as good at swimming as ducks, right? I can't believe I had to do that. Well, Louie, you are a good lifeguard. I know, right? I used to be a lifeguard once. But wait a second, Pip. If we are going to go into the water and get all wet, we need somewhere to dry off. <gasps> You're right. Where can we put towels? Oh, uh, well, we don't need towels. I have a really fun idea. Just follow my lead. Let's just build a room out of yellow and red wool like this. Just follow me. So we'll build up a wall like this out of red. And this will be able to block anything coming from this side. This is going to be really important in this room. And you'll see why in a second. Just build a wall out of yellow on the other side over there, Pip. And I'll build this red wall right here. Now we have to make sure that they connect up together, okay? All right, Louie. All right, this room is coming together really well. Have you guys guess what I'm going to do yet? I guarantee you won't. All right, Louie, we've done this room, but what do we put in here? Well, let me show you, Pip. After all, this is going to be a room to dry off, so let's make an entrance room over here. And now, watch this. I'm going to get some emerald fans, and I'm going to place them on this wall right here, and then this wall right here, then this wall right here, and then I'll go all the way over here and place some on this side. Now, Pip, I want you to just go in circles. It's crazy. This is what's going to dry you off. Wee! I'm getting so dry. Whoa! Look at that, Pip. But... Maybe I need to make it so that you can dry off a lot faster. And to do that, I'm going to get some flint and steel. And I'm going to put a big fire in the middle. This way, we will be nice and warm next to the fire, and we will dry off very quickly. This is such a cool room, Louie. It's almost like a sauna, but I hope it doesn't turn me into KFC. Oh, don't worry. It won't turn you into KFC, Pip. This room technically is a sauna, and a sauna is just a room that is so hot that it makes you dry. It's awesome, right? Oh, Louie, how about you do it first? I'm scared of fire ever since right. the incident. All right, I'll give it a go, Pip. And I'm really sorry that your parents died in that volcano accident. I didn't mean to push them in. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to walk into the sauna room and whoa, 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 this is so fast. This is so quick. Help, help. Oh, no. Oh, no. How do I get out of here? Um, let me just try and push myself through the door and... Phew! That was scary. My turn, Louie. Go, Pip. Oh, my gosh. Wee! <laughs> this is awesome. Now, try and get out of the room, Pip. This is the hardest part. All right. Let me just there get out go. of here. You can do it, Pip. You can do it. No! Stop burning. Oh, my gosh, Louie. This is out of control. How do I get out of here without going in the fire? You just have to <gasps> run towards the Wait. door. You just did it. I almost had it. Come on. You can do it, Pip! Oh, no, you're burning! Oh, oh, no, no! Run for the exit, Pip! Run for the oh, exit! Louie, I'm just gonna put water down! No, no, no! 
Oh my gosh. This is not a sauna room anymore. It's a room that makes you just very wet. All right, let me get rid of this water really quickly, and I guess that much fire is okay. Oh, okay, Louie. I caught myself with some blocks, and I'm free. All right, good job, Pip. There we go. This sauna room is now complete. But Louie, wait, how could we forget? We haven't even added a room for Mikey and JJ. Wait, are you kidding me? I knew I was forgetting something. All right, come on, Pip. Let's add a room for Mikey and JJ on this side right here. This is technically Mikey's side, so it will still work. Let's make this room nice and big. We can add both Mikey and JJ's rooms. I'll make it around this big and make a nice big hole in the wall like this. What do you think of this size, Pip? Oh, Louie, this is a perfect size for Mikey. All right, how about this? Let's split it in half. And on that side will be Mikey's room. And on this side will be JJ's room. <gasps> that looks even better. All right, let's go ahead and do this. You start digging on your side, and I'll go ahead and make JJ's room over here. Then, once we are done, we can move Mikey and JJ inside. All right, Pip, so we've dug out a massive area inside each of these rooms to build some fun things for Mikey and JJ. So you get building yours, and I'll get building mine right now. Let's go. Oh, Louie, Mikey's bedroom's going to look way better than JJ's. Oh, no, it's not. You know what? How about this? If I make a better room for JJ, everyone watching this video has to subscribe. But if I win, Louie, you have to eat seeds for a week. What? Seeds for a week? Ew. That's disgusting, guys. But, oh, you're on, Pip. Let's do this. Well, Louie, it's really not a punishment because seeds taste amazing. Seeds are disgusting. I don't know what you're talking about. So let's get building. I'm going to go ahead and split this room into three because that's what JJ would want. I make this red floor just like this. Huh? Let me just get rid of this floating block. And I'm going to do what I said and split it into three parts. I'll do one part over here and one part over here. And they're going to get smaller as they go. Now, I'm going to get these straight of blocks, and I'm going to split up the room like this. This way, I can have some archways going through the middle of the rooms. I'll do them out of these quartz blocks, and I'll make them go over like this. These are such cool archways. Do you guys have archways in your houses? If you do, comment down below. But there we go. Now I've added these really cool arches. It's time to add some walls. So what color would JJ like? I know he would love some red. So let's do some red and pink terracotta, because these kind of look red. I'll go ahead and add these colors in a nice pattern. I'll do some red in the middle as a stripe going all the way through, and then I'll outline it with this pink terracotta. Awesome! This is looking amazing. There we go! And now it's time to fill in this first room. This is the room where JJ is going to be able to put all of his things and his shoes and his chests. So I'm going to put a doorway right there with a window right here. Let's just get some glass and place it in the middle, just like that. And now I'll place all of the storage room JJ is going to need. Let me just get some chests like this and place them going up the walls. Oh, well, I'll do some on one side, and then I'll do some going up this wall too. And now for extra storage, I'll grab some barrels and I'll get some of these apple barrels. This way he'll have a ton of food too. And boom, look at that storage. We have tons of space for JJ to store his things. But now it's time to work on the second room. And I'll do a similar design. But this time I'll just place a ton of red all around like this. This should be good enough. This will be the entertainment room where JJ can do everything that he wants to do. Like reading, playing his Nintendo Switch, and, and watching some TV. So I'm going to build just that. Let's get a red sofa like this and place it in the middle, going all the way through the base. I think I'll have to make it a very, very small sofa because this room isn't very big. But now I'll grab a TV and a TV stand. This way I can put a TV on top of it and I can store some books for JJ right there. Now I'll grab some note blocks like this and these will work as the speakers for the TV system. But now I want a bookshelf on the other side so that JJ does not get bored and he can always read all of the books he needs while he's waiting for the TNT explosions to blow over. This is awesome! But now I'm going to do a desk just like this. And I'm going to place a Nintendo Switch on top with Mikey and JJ's colors. 
green, and red. That is amazing. And now all that's left to do is add the bedroom in here. And this is going to be where JJ can sleep. And also where he can do anything else he wants to do. Like maybe record his videos. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll build another desk on this side, and I'll put a PC setup on top. Are you guys watching this video on a computer right now, or are you watching it on a TV? Let me know! But there we go. And now that I've got the PC setup done, I need to add a chair for JJ to sit on. So I'll add this red sofa right here. This is awesome! But now it's time to add the beds. And what I think I'm going to do is add a really cool bed design. I'm going to build a triple bed, but I'm also going to make it a triple bunk bed. Have you guys ever seen a bunk bed this big? But now what I'm going to do is add some doors on the side so that the beds don't fall off of each other. And boom, that's amazing! And just so that JJ does not get bored while he's sleeping, I'm going to add a flat screen TV right up there with his favorite shows playing. He can also watch YouTube videos whilst he's recording his Minecraft. And there we go! I've added three different rooms, but it's now time to decorate them. Let me just get these quartz blocks like this. And now I need some plants. Because no room is complete without some cool plants around. I'll get some of these hanging plants and some of these pots to put in the corners. Let's just go ahead and do that. I'll add some of these plants going up next to these bookshelves. And I'll add some hanging plants on the corners of these walls. Then I'll add some plant pots just in these areas right here. This way I can add a bit more detail. And then I'll go ahead and put a massive painting right in the middle of this face. I'm going to make sure the painting can't be too big. Let's place down this painting and that painting. And I think these look pretty cool. That painting looks kind of like me. And boom, I think this bedroom is complete. All that's left is to just make sure this looks like JJ's room. So let's make some red terracotta like this and then add a door on the front. Huh? Just like this. And we are done. JJ's room is ready to go. I can't wait to see what Pip has done. It's going to be trash. I bet it is, guys. And then you'll have to subscribe to my channel. Oh, Louie, turn around. I'm finished. All right, Pip. Are you ready to see whose room is the best? Um, Louie, I think the question should be, are you ready to eat seeds? No, are you ready to eat my dust? Because my room is so ahead of yours. Let's see what they look like. Come on. All right, Pip, go ahead. Show me around this room. I want to see what's inside. Come on in, Louie, and let the fun begin. All right, so... First of all, it looks like you've added some really cool paintings to this wall, but yes, this one's Louis. just a bunch of smudges. Um, Louis, I painted this myself. I mean, of course you did, Pip. I would recognize huh? one of your paintings any day. Yep, Louis, but come on in. So this is a hallway that leads to three rooms. So let's check out the first room. All right, let's go inside. Show it to me. So this is Mikey's family. Um, Pip. This is just a bunch of sea turtles, and wait a second. Mikey only has two family members, his sister and his little brother. What is this third one? Oh, that's just Mikey, Louie. What? That's not Mikey. Mikey doesn't look like that. Um, I guess he looks different. He must have had a glow up. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Well, you know what, Pip? I don't want to see Mikey's family anymore. They're kind of scaring me. All right, let's see that second room. Well, Louie, if you love that first room, you're going to love this second room even more. All right, let me see. I'm going in first this time. And whoa, it seems you have a TV in here. This yep. is awesome. Yep, Louie, and look behind you. Wait, whoa! It's a it's a ship in a bottle! That's awesome! Of course it is, Louie! I make the best rooms! How did you even make that? They're really hard to make, right? You have to build them while they're inside of the bottles. Um, no, Louie. I just built the bottle, and then I just put the ship inside! What? Um, I don't know how that's possible, but okay. Anyways, Pip, go ahead. Show me that third room. I really <laughs> hope it's good. And last but not least... The gaming room. The gaming room? Whoa, this is kind of cool. You've got a chair facing to the corner. And, uh, Pip, did you put the PC on the floor? Uh, of course I did, Louie. Oh, you should know, Pip, that if you place a computer on the floor, it'll get dusty, and then it'll break. 
But my PC is on the floor and it hasn't broken. Oh, maybe not yet, Pip. But just wait. One day your PC will explode because of all the dust inside. Oh, Louie. All right. But anyways, Pip, I've seen your entire bedroom and this looks awesome so far. Uh, I think I'll rate it a 6 out of 10. <gasps> a 6 out of 6? Oh, no, a 6 out of 10, Pip. Come oh. over here. Check out my room. Let's look at it. So if you go inside the first room, you'll find all of this really cool storage. This is where JJ can uh, slide off his shoes and maybe do some preparations before going outside. Oh, this is cool, Louie. But what is in this crate? Is this TNT? That's not TNT. Those are apples, Pip. Oh. It's called a barrel of apples. A barrel of apples. That makes sense. If I put TNT in here, we would really be in trouble. But anyways, Pip, let's move on to the next room. This is the entertainment room with all of these books, Nintendo Switches colored like Mikey and JJ, and a TV. A TV? Well, let's turn it on. All right, Pip, there you go. Look, it's on. But Louie, this show is so boring. It's just a guy staring at us. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is the plant channel. That's just a guy planting a bunch of seeds. Wait, Louie, turn that channel back on. I, I like that show. Oh, no. We are not watching someone plant seeds for 10 hours, Pip. There we go. Let's turn it off. And welcome to the main bedroom. What do you think? This looks really cool, Louie. I, I see that JJ has a PC set up and he has six beds. Why does no, JJ need so many beds? No, this is a triple bunk bed. He has all the space to roll around on his bed and jump around. And he, he can also go on the bottom bunk if he wants. That's so cool, Louie. All right, Louie, I have to admit, this room is like an 8 out of 10 because I like these hanging plants. Those are good decorations. Yes! No way! Pip, you just rated me an 8 out of 10, and I rated you a 6 out of 10, which means that <coughs> I won! Wait, I built the best what? room, so you guys have to subscribe. But anyways, Pip... I just realized we've been down here building, having too much fun. We haven't looked at that TNT ball in ages. It might be exploding. Oh, no. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go outside and pew. It hasn't exploded just yet. We need to move Mikey and JJ inside now. Huh? The sun is setting. That TNT is going to explode any second. Oh, let's do it. Come on, Mikey, JJ. Let's go. All right, Pip. Mikey and JJ are now safe inside of our secure bunker. Hopefully, when that TNT explodes, it won't kill them. Wait a second. What is that? There's a message on our screen saying, warning, explosion in 10 seconds. How do we get this off? I don't know, Pip. Just get inside the base. I need to go outside and make sure this thing doesn't explode. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, you know what, guys? I don't care if the TNT is about to explode in 10 seconds. I'm just going to blow it up myself. What? I know our base is strong enough. Oh, I hope you're right, Louie. Don't worry, Pip. It will be strong enough. Let's light this thing. Three, two, one. There it goes. Look how crazy this explosion is. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Oh. The explosions are still going off. Oh, no. Pip, I can see our base down there. Are you okay? Uh, I think I'm okay, but JJ and Mikey seem safe as well. Oh my gosh, that obsidian is doing really well. Louis, the armory, it's exploded. Oh no, Pip, I can see that, but I think the explosion stopped. Uh, is JJ and Mikey safe? Uh, it yes. doesn't matter if the armory is destroyed. Oh, it looks like the water saved them. Oh my gosh, look, Pip. Half of our walkway got destroyed. Our sauna is exploded and our swimming pool is gone almost. <laughs> look at all that chicken. It's floating in the water. <gasps> that TNT just turned that chicken into KFC. And look, my room. It's... It's open plan now. Well, Louie, I guess my room was better than yours. Oh, no, it wasn't. But anyways, Pip, I am really glad JJ and Mikey survived. Our base might have taken a little bit of damage, but we did <gasps> very, very well. Yay! We just saved Mikey and JJ from the huge TNT ball. Woohoo! 
Our server is being taken over by zombies. So we're going to build a working TNT house to fight fire with fire. Can we build it before the zombies invade? Louis, our house isn't strong enough to defeat a zombie army. Oh, I know exactly what you mean, Pip. The walls are made out of this really weak wool. And the only thing keeping any mobs out is this massive hole in the wall. I have to admit, though, Louis, it's pretty spacious in here. Yeah, there's plenty of space for zombies to fit when they invade. Listen, <gasps> Pip, I have an idea. Do you know what zombies are weak against? Uh, yeah, uh, swords. Um, uh, well, yes, slightly, but also they're weak <gasps> against TNT. I never thought about that. That's a great idea. But wait a second, Pip. If this house isn't strong enough, but TNT is, how about we turn our house into a massive piece of TNT? Let's do it, Louis! All right, so first of all, let's just get rid of this house. It's way too bad. Oh, this house sucks. Why isn't it made out of dirt? Um, well, you were the one who asked me to make it out of wool, remember? Uh, I don't have good memory, Louis. You should know this. I'm a duck. Yeah, that makes sense. Ducks have really small bodies, and therefore really small brains, so it would make sense. Oh, Louis, I I'm big-brained, I swear. That's what they all say, Pip, until you ask them what 2 plus 2 is. Uh, do you even know what 2 plus 2 is? Yeah, 17. What, 17? No, it's not 17. <sighs> Guys, if you know what 2 plus 2 is, comment down below. Oh, my bad, it's 22. No, it's not 22. You just put 2 and 2 together. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? No, you know what? I'll just tell you the answer. 2 plus 2 is 4. That makes no sense, Louis. Well, it would make sense if your brain wasn't so smooth. Oh, Louis. But how do we build this house? Well, how about I show you, Pip? We are going to use something called a Wand of Symmetry. Just come over here really quickly. I'm going to set it to octagonal mode, which means whenever I place a block, it places a ton of them all around. That's so cool. Wait, can I do this with dirt? Um, yes, you can. But please don't. Yay! Don't put dirt everywhere. Oh, fine. So we need to make this house both strong and secure. So let's go ahead and use some concrete. What does TNT look like? I think it has the color red, it also has some white, and it has some black on it. And that is what the writing is made out of. But now, we have to build a massive square. Put all of our traps inside to keep the zombies out. Wait, Louis, is this how big we're going to make our house? This is huge! Yep, we are going to build it about this many blocks into the air. After all, it needs to look like a TNT block, so we need to make it shaped like a square. Just help me do the outline like this, and this is looking really cool. We have a block shape like this, and I think for good measure, I'll also get a piece of TNT so that I can copy the design like that. Wait, you're telling me our house is going to look exactly like this TNT? Yes, Pip, and the best part is it's going to work exactly like a block of TNT. Oh, I can't wait for it to explode! So, how about this, Pip? Let's get building up the shape of the outside right now so that we have a big red TNT square. And there we go, Pip. Look at this. We have a massive red square. And that is our TNT. Oh, it looks so good, Louis. Can I light it? Can I light Louis, it? Don't light it. You'll burn it to the ground. It's not going to work just yet, Pip. Oh, that's unfair, Louis. I wanted it to blow up like a piece of TNT. Oh, don't you worry, Pip. It will. But first, we have to make it look like a block of TNT. Or else, it just won't look right. So, follow me right here. We are going to get some white blocks just like this. After all, as you can see around the TNT block, there's about six blocks or so of white going up through the TNT block. And we need to make sure it looks similar. So, let's do this right here. Let's fill in these white blocks along the side like it's a label on the TNT block. Like this. This is a great idea, Louis. But wait. If we're building a massive TNT block, 
What if something goes wrong and it explodes? Oh, don't you worry, Pip. Nothing will go wrong. We are going to add a ton of safety precautions to make sure our base doesn't go kaboom. But we can also use the power of TNT to kill the mobs. All right, that sounds cool, Louis, but this doesn't even look like a TNT block. It's missing the letters. Wait, you make a very good point, Pip. This TNT block isn't a TNT block without the words TNT on it. So let's just write those on it just like this. I put the letter T right there and T right there. It looks pretty cool, but do you want to fill in the N, Pip? Yes, I do, Louis. Let me do it. All right, Pip, go ahead. You've got the shape going quite well for an N and... Wait a second. That's not an N. That's an Let's M. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you meant N? I thought this was TMT. Oh, my gosh, Pip. Don't worry. I can fix this very easily. Let's just do this and then put some white concrete right there. And there we go. We have an N on the front. Let's go. Wait, Louie. Since we're making a block of TNT, we should add some explosive traps. Wait, that's a really good idea, Pip. I just came up with an absolutely amazing idea. Grab some obsidian like I am, and let's make a quick parking lot on the front, just out of obsidian. You'll see why I'm doing this in a moment. Are cars going to park at our TNT? Well, if we want to park our cars, we can, but this is for something different. As you know, obsidian is blast-proof, meaning we can put a ton of explosive traps right here without taking any damage. We won't have any craters in the ground. But Louie, without any holes in the ground, won't the mobs just be able to walk through? Oh no, they will not, Pip, because I came up with a great idea. I'm going to use these blocks right here called Dirt Mines. If I go ahead and place one down right here, will you do the honors of stepping on that piece of dirt right there? Of course, Louie. Oh, look, it's dirt! I told you, it's a really good idea. Any mobs that walk into it will die instantly. And we can put not one, but two or three or four of them. Just be careful not to stand on any. This is an awesome idea, Louie. This is going to protect the front of our base so well. All right, how about this, Pip? You place down the obsidian really quickly, whilst I go ahead and place all of these dirt mines down to find out where the mobs will try to go. All right, Louie, will do. I'm going to make such a massive parking lot. Whoa, you're actually kind of quick at building. Look at all the obsidian you're placing. Oh, Louie, you know I'm not a noob. I'm secretly a pro. Hmm. I'm not sure about that, but do whatever makes you feel happy, Pip. Yeah, well, you're wondering how I'm building so quick, Louie. Actually, I just enrolled in building school. Wait, no way. That means I went to a school that let me learn how to build in Minecraft. That's how we could build such amazing looking builds. And building school told me that dirt is the best block in Minecraft. I don't remember learning that part in building school. Oh, wait a second. My teacher was the creator of Minecraft, Notch. Uh, what about yours? Wait, Notch? Who's Notch? Oh, no. Please don't tell me you got scammed by a building school. Oh, don't worry, Louie. I was just getting taught by this guy. What was his name? Hero Brian? Hero Brian? Hero Brian! You're being taught how to build by Hero Brian! I thought they removed him from Minecraft ages ago. Did you know he's one of Minecraft's scariest people? Oh, don't worry, Louie. He's a great guy once you meet him. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't want to meet Hero Brian. As you can see, Pip, our mine area is complete. Now, if anything stands on here, everything will explode at the front. It's going to be a very explosive surprise. <laughs> But wait a second, Louie. If a mob steps on one of the mines, wouldn't it blow up all of the mines? Um, I've never tested that before, Pip, but let's hope it doesn't. Just in case, let's make sure that all of the mobs are right next to the mines before they explode. So let's put a ton of fences around the outside of this base. This way, all of the mobs will be piled up right here on the fences next to the mines, and they'll all explode all at once. This is such a good idea, Louie. Hero Brian teach you this? No, I did not learn from Hero Brian, and I'm very 
glad I didn't. Anyways, Pip, we need a way to get over these fences because we need to be able to get inside of our bases in survival mode. Wait, Louie, I have an idea. I remember something Herobrine taught me. He said if you put a carpet on a fence, you can jump over it. Wait, what? I've never been able to know. I've never known that. As you can see, guys, you cannot jump over a fence, even if you try. If there's a carpet, for some reason you can. That's crazy. Yeah, why didn't Nod teach you this? He must be a sucky teacher. Uh, well, Louis, Herobrine is actually still teaching to this day. He's been teaching ever since Minecraft came out 5,000 years ago. And anyways, guys, who do you think is better, Notch or Herobrine? Subscribe for Notch and like for Herobrine. I'll be checking how many subscribers this video gets. Oh, Louis, there's about to be so many likes. Hero Brian's eyes are so cool. Well, you are right, Pip. They do glow. It's really scary. But anyways, Pip, even if the zombies get here and explode, we'll have no more landmines or traps to stop the mobs from getting in. So I just came up with a very good idea. What's your idea, Louie? Are you going to put snowmen all around to protect our base? Um, no. But, but that is something you would do. But just watch this, Pip. Watch and learn from the master of Minecraft traps. I'm going to dig down into the ground like this, and I will use world edit commands. Wait, world edit commands? What is a world edit command? It's basically admin commands, but for building. Watch this, Pip. <gasps> if I do slash slash cut, I can remove all of the blocks right Whoa! there. But if I don't want to do that, I can slash slash undo it back. All the dirt, it just disappeared. Yep, but what I'm going to do here, I'm going to set all of these blocks to water. I love water. I love taking bird baths. Um, Pip, I would be careful swimming in that water, though. Well, what's so wrong with water, Louis? Well, how about you go in survival mode and try to jump inside? Then you'll know what's wrong. All right, Louis. Cannonball! Oh, no! Oh, wait! No. no, no, no! Um, Pip? Uh, wait. Pip just died! Oh, rest in peace, Pip. Wait, uh, what? I, I, I thought you just died! Where did you just come from? Oh, Louis, you should know. Ducks have nine lives. Um, I thought that was cats, but uh, I don't know. Something's weird about you. You don't seem like the real Pip. Well, of course, Louis. Every time a Pip dies, a new Pip is sent to Louis from the Pip factory. Wait, what? You're made in a factory? Uh, this makes no sense. I, I thought your parents died in a volcano accident. Accident. Oh, they did about 1,000 years ago, but I am version 497 of Pip. What? Um, okay, that, that, that's very scary, actually. Um, you know what, Pip? Let's just forget you ever died. You're my original Pip, I think. Anyways, I'm going to fill in this water moat just around the outside of the base. This way, any zombies that try to attack will fall straight in and die. But now we've got this water moat, Pip. Let's go ahead and surround it on the outside with a ton of fences. Do you know why I placed a water moat around this thing? Um, I don't know, Louie. Did you just want to go for a swim? I did not want to go for a swim. I do not want a new replacement, Pip. Oh, okay, Louie. Well, we can cancel your Pip subscription if you want. Wait, what? I had a Pip subscription? When? Yep, Louie. You're paying $499 a month for it. What? Oh, since when? I don't remember paying $499 a month for Pip, but that kind of explains why you just appeared out of nowhere. Yep, you have fast one-day delivery. Um, uh, that was definitely not one-day delivery. That was, like, three-second delivery. Let's do it, Louis. Let's go! All right, here we go. So we are going to make a door that comes all the way in right here. And we are going to make this nice and big on the front. We don't need a front door. But, Louis, our last base had a giant wide-open door, and you said the zombies would invade. Well, but that's the thing. Pip, we are going to have a big open door, but we are actually going to secure it with a very secure tunnel going all the way into the base. Oh, I love tunnels. Oh, this is going to be so cool. I will build this wall on the left, and you build that wall there on the right. Will do, Louie. I might even throw some dirt in every so often. Let's go ahead and make it go all the way to the end over here. And let's make this wall around four blocks high. And then I will go ahead and make some doorway shapes going all the way here. This way, they'll have to choose the right way into the base, or they'll die. But first of all, let's secure this tunnel. Wait, Louie, I have a great idea. 
Look at this! Wait, what is that? Uh, are you putting trip wires down? Yep, Louie. And if we put dispensers or fire charges or anything, it will kill the mobs as soon as they enter. That is a really good idea. As you guys know, to make a TNT block set off, you need to shoot it with fire or light it with a flint and steel. So let's go ahead and add some fire traps inside of our base. Let's make this as TNT themed as we can. So what I'm going to do is, is get some dispensers and fire charges. And I'll go ahead and place a few going up the wall like this. Filled with fire charges. I'll put them on both sides. And now step on one of those trip wires, Pip. All right, let's see how this goes. <laughs> ow, ow. Uh, yep. It sets you on fire, but only one of those dispensers goes off, so I need to do some redstone magic. And now all we have to do is just place all of these dispensers going all the way down this room. I think I'll do about three rows of them. This way, any mob that walks in will definitely be burning. Oh, Louis, there's no way a mob will survive all these fire charges. Yep, you are definitely right, Pip. I'm making sure that this redstone is modular. Do you know what modular means? Uh, no, Louis, I don't know what that means. I only went to building school and farming school, not redstone school. All right, I'll explain it to you. When something is modular, you can do the exact same device, the exact same design over and over again right next to each other and it does not break the redstone and it also means that everything works all at once so if i stand on one of these trip wires every single fire charge will shoot out that's so cool louis but oh my goodness what would i do without you you would do probably nothing there is absolutely no way we can survive the mobs without my redstone knowledge yep louis and my building skills um yeah yeah th that too uh, yeah. But anyways, Pip, now that we have this set up and all of these fire charges shoot out, what trap should we do next? We need to make sure the zombies cannot get inside. Oh, Louis, maybe we should do healing potions. Healing potions? Why would we throw healing potions at zombies? Because, Louis, did you not learn this from school? Healing potions hurt zombies and harming potions heal zombies. Wait, really? I need to test this out right now. Let me get a zombie spawn egg and let's get a healing potion. I'll get a health two potion. So now if I spawn down a zombie and throw healing at it. Wait, it does hurt it! I didn't... I never knew this! I told you, Louie. Hero Brian taught me that. That is a really good idea, Pip. So how about we make a redstone device that shoots healing potions too? That would be so awesome, Louie! Alright, follow me, Pip. Let's do this. I'll place some dispensers facing down from the roof with some healing potions inside. Let's make these also lingering potions of healing. This way, it stays in a cloud on the ground like that. Oh, this cloud is so scary. I wouldn't want to go past that if I was a zombie. Yeah, neither would I. But I'm going to do not one, but around about, let's say, three dispensers full of healing potions. We can stand here and heal up while the zombies will walk in and die. Oh, Louis, even the strongest zombies wouldn't be able to survive this one. I wonder if a mutant zombie would be able to. And do you guys think so? Like the video if you think a mutant zombie could get through this. But now let's set it up with a bunch of redstone dust. This way it will work. We need to make sure that it gets powered. And what a good way to do that than also using trip wires like we did before. So the way I'm going to do this is by getting a redstone torch. And I'm going to make it face off of the side of this block. And now what I'm going to do is put a repeater going out with a block on the back like this. Then I'll place a redstone torch. And as you can see, because this block is powered, it turns off. So now I'll just do a... I'll do a ton of redstone torches going up like this. And then I'll have it go back into the redstone up here. What? Louis, how did you learn this? This is so complicated. Oh, no, it's not, Pip. It's just a little bit of redstone. And anyways, the best part is it's modular too. Oh, Louis, I still don't understand what that means, but continue. All right, here we go. So now that I've placed all of these down, when I step on that tripwire, this redstone torch will turn on, meaning this will be activated. Watch this. Boop! Woohoo! <gasps> That's so cool, Louis. You're so good at redstone. But, Louis, if you love redstone 
so much. Why don't you just marry it? Um, I'm not going to marry a piece of redstone dust. I know a lot of people who would, though. Well, I have a friend called Mumbo, and he really likes redstone, like, 20 million times more than I do. Oh, Louie, Mumbo is such a silly name. That isn't a real person. Oh, no, it's just his nickname. He's called Mumbo Jumbo. What kind of name is Mumbo Jumbo, Louie? Is his, is his last name Bumbo? Mumbo Jumbo Bumbo? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. I never asked him. But anyways, let's just keep building. So now that we've got some traps done on the inside of this thing, we now have some dispensers that shoot fire charges and healing potions. But now I'm going to do that idea I was talking about earlier with the mobs having to choose the correct way. So I'll make this way the wrong way. As you guys know, this is right. And if zombies have no brains, then they'll probably think right is the right way, if you get what I mean. But the left way will actually be the correct way because L stands for left and also Louie. Wait, I thought L stood for Louie. No, L stands for legend. And if you guys agree, subscribe to become a Louie legend. So now what I'm going to do is make this hole two blocks deep. And then I'm going to get some real lava and place it on the inside. But Louie, the mobs aren't blind. They'll just see this lava and jump right in. Well, that's the thing, Pip. Watch this. I'm going to search in my creative menu and get something called a ghost block. And now I'm going to fill up this hole with them. How about you go ahead and walk on there, Pip? Louis, this is just a dead end. What are you talking about? Oh, please help! <laughs> oh, no. I think Pip just died again. Well, this is good. Hopefully, they don't send me a new one. Oh, my gosh. Um, hi, Pip. I hope you didn't hear that. Hello, I am Pip number 500. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know what, Pip? Uh, let's just act like you didn't die again. Um, let's just keep building. If you keep killing Pip, you'll have to pay extra. No, I didn't kill him. He just jumped into the lava. It wasn't my fault. You told him to. Oh, yeah. I mean, I kind of did. But, uh, Anyways, come on, Pip number 585. Let's just build the rooms for our secret TNT base. So let's go ahead and build up the walls like this. This way, we have a nice big room to place everything we need inside. All right, Pip, but now we've built this wall up. Let's get a roof onto this room. This is going to be our main living room where we are going to watch TV and have all of our fun. Whoa, I love TV. Can we have the farming channel on? Oh, I mean, I guess we can, Pip. After all, you're like Pip number 585. You've probably never experienced the farming channel. We I'm not Pip number 585. I'm Pip number 500. Um, I don't know what you're talking about, Pip. Let's just call you Pip number one for now because you're like the original Pip right now. You're, you're right, Louie. I am number one. You are number two. Hey, I'm not number two. You're number two. No, I didn't mean I was number one. I meant I need to take a number two. Please Wait, excuse me. What do you mean take the number two? Ew. Ah. He just pooped. Oh, wait. Time to add the cherry on top. Cherry on top. Oh, no. He went number one as well. Two plus one equals three. What is a number three? Uh, I really don't know, Pip. Let's just keep building and pretend that you are not malfunctioning or something. Just come on. I love swimming in number one. Okay, just get in here. All right, Pip. So we just made this big room here. And I think I'm going to reinforce this door with a bit of iron. This way, none of the zombies should be able to break through here. And let's secure it off with a keypad door. This way, we can have one of our favorite passwords. One, two, three, four. And if I type that in, the door will open. Louie, I think I malfunctioned there. What just happened? Well, we were just building this room until you started taking number twos and number ones and peeing everywhere. Oh, you're right, Louie. If I don't want to pee on the ground, we really need to make a bathroom. That is a good point, Pip. But before we make a bathroom, let's work on our main entertainment room. I really want a sofa, so I'm going to get one of those. All right, sounds good, Louie. You get the sofa, and I'll put on the farming channel. All right, let me just go ahead and place down a red sofa like this. 
And you know what? Let's get a yellow sofa for you as well. This way, we can both watch TV with our cool new sofas. And we'll also have a space in the middle so we can walk in and sit in the corner. Oh, Louis, this is so cool. And if I sit right next to you, we can kind of hold hands. Uh, I don't want to hold hands with you, Pip. I've probably held hands with like a million of you right now. Um, Pip, I don't know about you, but you just swam in your pee. I don't know if I want to hold your hand. Oh, don't worry, Louie. I just licked myself clean. Licked yourself clean? Um, guys, Pip just like licked all of his pee. Um, I, 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 I don't want to hold your hand or even like touch you ever again. Oh, come on, Louie. Come back here. No, it no. tastes like fruit juice. No, no. Come here, Louie. Oh, no, no. Get away from me. Get away from me. Come back here, Louie. Where are you going? Oh, I can't get away. I can't get away. Fine, Louie. I won't touch you with my pee hands yet. Uh, okay. Well, Pip, let's keep adding to this entertainment room. So, what I'm going to do is get some stripped oak logs like this, and I really want a cool bookshelf. So I'm going to do something like this. This is a really cool design. Let me place two blocks in the middle there, and get some bookshelves, and I'll place them going up just like this, and I'll let you choose what to place there in the middle pit. Oh, Louis, I know what we can put here. We can put a personal computer. A personal computer? Uh, don't you mean a PC? Yep, Louis. That's what PC stands for, after all. Wait, seriously? I didn't know that. Uh, maybe you're connected to the internet or something. Oh, Louie, maybe it was one of the microchips in my brain. Well, Pip, I don't want to hear about your neural link in your brain. I think let's just add some seats for our PCs. So I'll add a red one right there and a yellow one right here. This way you can watch me play Minecraft and hopefully get better at the game. Oh, Louie, these seats are garbage. We should really be using these seats instead. Wait, what? They are fences. Yep, Louie, we can just sit on them. Well, that's the thing, Pip. You're a duck, and ducks have perches. I'm a human, so I don't need a perch. I'll just have a seat, and yeah, you can have your uh, your perch like that. Oh, Louie, this is way better. All right, awesome, Pip. But now, we need that bathroom like you said. So let's build one going through to here. And let's make this one around about this big. This looks kind of good. And just like this, it's working! We're making a nice big wall to put all of our bathroom stuff inside. And I'll also add a roof very quickly. Let's just do that, and boom. But anyways, Pip, I built the inside for the bathroom. How about you go ahead and work on everything inside there, But and I'll work on some stairs to go to an upstairs room. All right, Louie, I know how to make amazing bathrooms. All right, go ahead, explain what you're doing, and come back when you're done. All right, so to start off, we need to put yellow carpet all over the floor, because yellow's my favorite color, and this is my bathroom. And now... We need to put a toilet because it's not a bathroom without a toilet. And then, of course, we need some toilet paper, which I don't need toilet paper, but I think Louie might because he's really stinky. All right. And now let's put the shower in the corner next to the bathtub. And now to finish off the bathroom, we need to put a sink. And, of course, my favorite, the mirror. Oh, Who's that duck in the mirror? Mm. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Um, Pip, mwah, are you mwah. done yet? I'm almost done, Louie. Uh, don't you want to join me? Come on. Uh, no, I'm okay. I don't want to kiss myself in the mirror. I just made the room upstairs. Come on. Oh, what did you do? Let's see it. Well, I made some stairs coming up with a fence so you don't fall down. And now we can build whatever we want in here. Wait, Louie, I love swimming pools. Can we make a pool up here oh. so I can take my bird baths? All right, of course you can. Let's just make a little area out of stairs like this. And then let's fill it up with some water. There we go. Louie, is this real water or is it fake water like the trap? Uh, this is just real water this time. You can actually take a bird bath in there. All right, Louie, but this better not be a hot tub. All right, Pip, in you go. Look, it's a nice little swimming pool. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Louie, come in, swim with me. Uh, I'm all right. I don't want to get my hoodie wet. Oh, Louie, 
This is a great bath to wash all of that pee off. Maybe you should join me. Um, no, Pip. Uh, I'm okay. I don't want to get in that pee water. Um, uh, you probably washed all the pee off into there, and it didn't go down any drains, so... Oh, Louise, suit yourself. More water for me! Yeah, more water for you, Pip. But anyways, we really quickly need to build a window so that we can see if there's any crazy stuff happening outside. And then maybe we can build one more trap to be able to keep those zombies out. I'm going to build a pathway going all the way to the end in the TNT. Wait, why are you doing that? What is the point in doing this, Louis? Well, let me show you. But first, let's make a tunnel going all the way over to the end in the TNT. Follow my lead. And there we go, Pip. I've built this little tunnel going all the way to the end. And watch this. I'll replace some of these white blocks right here with some white stained glass. This way, it's still going to look like the white label on the TNT, but we are going to be able to see outside to see what happens. Oh, Louie, I can't wait to watch all those zombies blow up in the mine. But are we going to make other traps, Louie? Oh, of course we are, Pip. Let me show you what I'm thinking. I'll place down this red wool right here. And I'm going to get something called a redstone link. This is like wireless redstone. I'll place it right here. And I'll place this block inside. Now all we need is a lever. And that will just power it on and off. But now what I'm going to do is go outside. Because I have a very good idea on what we should do out here. I'm going to get some TNT now. And this is what I meant when I said we're going to make some explosive traps. Now all I have to do is get a dispenser. And just fill a ton of them up with TNT. I'll do one right here. One right here. And I'll do one right here too. And now let's do one right here. I'll do another there and another there. And now all we have to do is fill all of these up with TNT. Now let's just replace all of these dispensers with ones filled with TNT. And then we can place some redstone links on the back of all of these to make it work. Let me just set all of these to receiving mode as well so that they all work when I press the lever. You'll see what I mean in just a second, guys. Let this is going to be so awesome. And there we go. We have all of these dispensers on the top. And these should shoot out a ton of TNT. We are going to try them out when the zombies attack. But wait a second. Where is the sun in the sky right now? Let me just take a look and... Oh no, guys. The moon is rising. That means it's sunset. We don't have much time left, Pip. Oh, Louis, but our base is looking pretty good. I just think we're missing an armory, Louie. All right, Pip. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's build an armory for our base. And then we can fight off those zombies with some swords. So let's put one, two, three, four in here. And where can we fit an armory in? I think I have an idea. I'll fit it right in the tunnel where we are going to activate that redstone machine. Let's just go ahead and build out a very small room. After all, all we need is some weapons and armor. Our traps will do the rest. Do you think this is what the inside of an actual TNT block in Minecraft looks like? Oh, Louie, I hope all TNT blocks have hot tubs in them without the hot part. Yeah, me too. Especially since if a TNT block gets hot, it will explode. But anyways, we've built this little room. Now it's time to add our armor. So let's get some armor stands, add some armor, and fill this thing up. I think I'm going to get some dragon steel armor. This is some of the strongest armor in the entire of Minecraft, and it will keep me safe from any zombies that try to attack. But here we go. Let's get some chests as well, and fill these up with some real Really strong weapons and armor. I'm going to get these ice dragon bone swords. After all, I cannot have the fire versions of them because I might set off our TNT block. All right, Louie. And while you put your armor there, I put my armor here. Um, that is really scary. Why does it look like there's a killer clown in our be in our base? Ah! Wait, Pip, uh, take that off. Take that off. I'm scared of clowns. Come here, Louie. Oh! Come here. No. I'm just kidding, Louie. <laughs> oh, that was really scary. Never do that again. I'm so scared of clowns. Oh, guys, tell me if you're scared of clowns as well. Oh, Louie, I love clowns. They are so good at juggling. They have cute balloon animals. They 
at the little thing that goes, oh, oh. Uh, I don't like any of that. And anyways, the last time I went to see a clown, he squirted me with water. He squirted me in the eyes with a water flower. I did not like that. Oh, you're right, Louie. Why didn't he use pee instead? Uh, I think that would be illegal, Pip. What? Why is pee illegal? It's only natural, Louie. You should know this. Oh, Pip, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Come on. Listen, let's just get some food so that we don't die to these zombies now. I'll get a bunch of golden apples, and I'm also going to go ahead and get us some bows so that we can shoot at the zombies. I'll use these, I'll use this dragon bone bow with these bone arrows. They are really, really strong and can kill a zombie in one shot. There we go. We are now ready to survive the zombie apocalypse and save our Minecraft server once and for all. Well, Louie, now that our base is complete, let's see if there's any monsters outside and <gasps> wait. There's so many zombies, and I just got switched to survival mode. Louie, we need to get our armor on. Oh, no, this is terrible. Look at all those zombies. All right, Pip, we've got to hurry. Get your armor on right now. You just took all of the dragon steel armor. Oh, don't worry, Louie. You can use this chest plate. All right, thank you, Pip. All right, let's get our weapons together. I'm going to get all of these dragon bone bows. And what else do I need? I'll get a sword and I'll get some golden apples for my journey out into the zombie apocalypse. All right, Pip, let's get out there and destroy some zombies and see if our traps can work well. Time for these zombies to die. All right, here we go. Let's get out of our keypad door and oh, wait a second. I didn't think about getting back through our traps. Well, it'll be fine, Louis. These are healing potions, remember? All right, well, at least we don't have to worry about that, but Pip, we have to make a run for it through our trap. Louie, just jump over the tripwires like this. Um, okay. Wait, what? You made it. Yep, Louie, I'm a parkour pro after all. All right, it's my turn. Here we go. Hoop, hoop. <coughs> ow, 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 ow. Oh, Louie, you look like a parkour noob. Oh, I'm not a noob, but anyways, Pip, look at all those zombies piling up over there. Let's shoot them with our bows. What are they going to do? They can't even get past our fences. Wait, look. They got past the fences. <gasps> but they're all dying to the poisonous water. I knew this would work. Oh, Louie, I knew all these traps would work. Yeah, it's a very good thing that these zombies all die to this water. If they could swim through it somehow, I think we'd have more problems. Wait, Pip, look. They're <gasps> swimming through the water. Get away from the mines. We have to run. Wait, are they invincible to water now? Oh, I think they are, Pip. Be careful. Do not step on any of those mines. If you do, we might go kaboom. Oh, Louie, I've already died two times. One more death, and I'm out. Pip, what do we do? Um, Louie, look behind you. Oh, the no. zombies are flying. How are they flying? What in the world? This is really bad. Look, they're going to walk on all of the mines. We have to stop them before this thing explodes. And oh, my gosh. Oh, these zombies are so smart. Where did they even come from? I don't know. Oh, wait. That one just turned into a drown in front of me. Whew. Thanks for killing it, Pip. Yep, Louie. Luckily, your bows instantly kill the zombies. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, no. I just set off one of my mines. Whoa. Guys, I think I have to eat an enchanted golden apple right now. I'm taking tons of damage. And these zombies are getting through. Take this, wait, zombies. Louie, some of them even have swords. I see a baby zombie with an iron sword in the middle of all these zombies. Oh, no, this is terrible. And ow, Pip, our explosions are going off. Our mines are exploding. Look, it's actually kind of working too. The zombies are dying. Oh, I wish I could hit the zombies with my sword from all the way over here. Louie, watch out. They're Whoa! everywhere. Come on, Pip, just run through the fire charges. We don't have time. We need to kill these zombies now. And boom, look, they're stepping on our healing potions as well. And I can't see any zombies, which means it must be working. Look, they're dying. It's so hard to see the zombies through this lingering cloud, but they're coming in. This is really good though, Pip. I think we managed to kill all the zombies that were in our secure tunnel. So it's working. But we don't have many lingering potions left. If more zombies come in, we might be doomed. Louie, I don't want the zombies to turn me into KFC. Don't worry, Pip. That will not happen. 
Just jump over this. Just jump over that tripwire right here. And let's lure some more zombies inside. We have to kill the rest of them. All right, here we go. A ton more are spawning. This is crazy. This zombie army is insane. I really don't like zombies. Why do they even exist? I don't know. But all I know is that they want to eat our brains. And we cannot let them. Or else our Minecraft server will be doomed forever. Oh, Louis, don't there's worry, so Pip. many of them. Don't worry, Pip. I'm helping you from a distance with this bow. I don't think I see many zombies anymore. Let me help you. Wait. What happened to the side of our TNT block? They're breaking in! How? Oh no, I just fell into a crater in the ground. Oh no, Louis, they keep pushing me onto the TNT mines. They're trying to blow me up. Don't worry, Pip, I'll save you. Oh, get away from Pip, you stinky zombies. Oh, these good-for-nothing zombies. Don't worry, Pip. It seems like we are killing a lot of them right now. Look, there's less and less zombies coming every second. Well, Louis, it's because they're inside of our TNT. Wait a second, Pip. I have a good idea. All of our minds have exploded. And since these zombies are getting in, maybe we should try out my Ultra TNT Shooter device. <gasps> Let's do it, Louis. Come on, follow me through the base. We have to go in here right now. Follow me up the stairs and get up the ladders. I'm going to break this glass like this so I can see outside. And how about this, Pip? You do the honors and click the button. All right, Louis. I'll flick the lever. Oh, look. It's working. This is awesome. They're all dying just like we planned. Yeah, Pip. And look, the moon is going down. We are making it through the night. Let's just use a bit more of this TNT, and our base is unstoppable. Let's just spray TNT all over the place. And boom! The more TNT, the better. Look, Pip, there is no way those zombies can get in now. We made a massive crater in the ground, meaning they can't even make it in front of our base anymore. I think we're secure. Let me just kill this flying zombie. Die! All right, Pip. Come on, there aren't many zombies to fight now. Let's just get out there and kill the rest of them. And then it will turn to daytime and we will have survived. Let's do it, Louie. All right, Pim, follow me. Let's get out of here and fight some zombies. Let's just quickly find a way to jump over this water or... Wait, I have a really good idea, Pip. Watch this. If I break one of the fences, all of these zombies will jump in into the water and die. You're a genius, Louie. They're all dying. All right, that's all of the zombies on this side, except for a few. But as you can see, they all jumped in and took all of that damage. Now, let's go for the ones on the other side. And whoa, some of them just jumped out of our base. We need to finish them off. And boom. Wait, Louie, if you shoot a bow and arrow through fire... It makes a fire arrow. Wait, that's actually a really good idea. We should have used that idea in our base. But wait a second, Pip. There's still a few more zombies on this side we might need to kill. And whoa, one just jumped out of the base again. Oh, they definitely messed up my redstone. Well, are they making babies inside of our base? I don't know, but let's hope they're not. Anyways, we only have about one or two zombies left to kill. That's the last one and boom. Oh, please don't tell me there's any more zombies. Are there no more zombies left? Oh, Louis, there's one right over here. But if I just aim my bow and fire! You missed, Pip. Let me try. Boop! I missed! And boom! <gasps> Let's go! They're all dead! Yeah, but look at all of the destruction that happened out here. This was a really crazy fight. But wait a second, Louis. Look at the time! No way! Let's just get over here really quickly and... Whoa! The sun came up and the rest of the zombies are burning! We totally just survived! Oh, Louie, I knew our base was going to defeat the zombies! Me too, Pip! If you guys... This giant TNT sphere appeared next to JJ and Mikey's houses! We need to upgrade their security so they can survive the explosion. Louis, that's a huge sphere of TNT. I know, Pip. We have to create the strongest security houses to protect JJ and Mikey. Do you think you can do that? Oh, boy, can I. How about this, Louis? You build JJ's house, and I'll build Mikey's house right now. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Come on, Pip. Uh, you've got all this space. Why aren't you using it? Oh, Louis, I don't need space. 
I'm gonna build the strongest right here. Okay, Pip. Guide me through what you're doing. You just made a massive hole in the ground. Do you need me to uh, help you dig it out, maybe? Yeah, Louis. This is gonna be the foundation. Okay, well, now we've got this hole dug out. What are you going to do next? All right, Louis, and we're gonna fill this hole with a bunch of water. Oh, wait. Because TNT doesn't like water. Oh, wait a second, Pip. I know TNT doesn't like water, but what are you planning to do with this pool? Are you just going to throw Mikey inside and hope for the best? I'm gonna live in it. You're going to live in this pond? Well, I hope you have a roof above your head, because that TNT sphere is going to rain down on you like crazy. Oh, don't worry, Louie. Of course I'm gonna have a roof. I'm gonna build it right now. Okay. Well, it seems like you've got a good idea going. You're making some kind of glass wall. Let me help you with that. All right, Louie, we need to build glass all around this pond so that the TNT can't blow me up. Wait, uh, Pip, I don't know if glass is going to be the best material to build your, uh, secure base out of. What if it just smashes? It might hurt Mikey. I mean, do you have any better ideas, Louie? Well, I have plenty, but I'll save that for when I build my pro base for JJ. Anyways, what are you doing right now? Are you making some kind of island in the middle? I, I need to make my house in the middle of all of this glass. Um, you're making it out of dirt? Well, I'm not going to stop you, but I will help. So let's build these walls up out of dirt. Well, you know, dirt is the strongest material in the game, so I'm expecting this dirt house to survive. Pip, I do not know about dirt being the strongest block in the game. If you need some advice, I would say netherite is the strongest block in the game. And it seems like you've got a pretty nice roof design going on here, especially since you're a new builder. Yep, Louie. And now we're going to put water all around the house. Wait, but won't that drown Mikey? That's so inhumane. No, we're not going to put Mikey in the water. We're going to put Mikey in the dirt house. Oh, I guess this looks okay. When that TNT rains down from above, it won't do any damage because it will land in the water. And as you guys know, when TNT lands inside of water and explodes, it does no damage to the blocks around it. Oh, Louie, this is going to be such an easy challenge. Oh, I really doubt it, Pip. Even though you've got a pretty good defense from that TNT sphere, it's still potentially weak enough to get exploded. Oh, Louie, I'm so confident I'm gonna win. Have you ever seen TNT blow up water? Um, I've never seen it blow up water, but I've seen it blow up things under the water, you know. It's really, really dangerous. This is exactly why I'm putting Mikey's family under the water. Okay, Pip. Well, now you've got your base, what are you going to put on the inside? Uh, it seems quite empty in here, and there's a ton of dirty water leaking in through the ceiling. Oh, Louis, the first thing I'm gonna add in this little hut is my favorite thing, a mirror. Um, wait, and in the mirror, mirror, I can go... Pip? Mwah, 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 mwah. What? Are you kissing yourself in the mirror? Well, you know what? I feel like I'm intruding inside of that house. Louis, where are you going? Don't you want to join me? Um, I'm not going to join you kissing yourself in the reflection, but I will help you add some interior to your house, in which you don't seem to have much space. I mean, Mikey's family can always join me, but speaking of Mikey's family, I need to put beds down for them. Okay, go ahead, Pip. Put your beds down, and I wouldn't recommend putting a bed here because we won't be able to get out of the door. And Louis, since there's not much space in here, I'm going to have to build bunk beds for Mikey's family. Wait, so just put bunk a bed beds? Right there. Wait, and then another Whoa. bed right there. Wait, Pip, this is incredible. You managed to fit two beds into such a small space. I'm actually kind of proud of you for once. Oh, Louis, you know I'm secretly a pro. Oh, well, we'll see about that. When this TNT sphere explodes, I really doubt Mikey is going to be very safe inside here. What makes you say that, Louis? There's no way the TNT can get past the, all the water. Well, maybe you should add one or two more defenses. Maybe you'll need them. Oh, Louis, maybe you're right. But I have an idea, Louis. What if we add cobwebs all around the base? Wait, that's a really good idea. As you know, Pip, cobwebs catch TNT just like a net. This means that the TNT will get stuck and not do much damage. Oh, Louis, this is a genius idea. Yes, I know, Pip. I'm actually really proud of you this time. You know, yesterday I might have said that your base would be trash, but now I'm looking at it, it still looks trash. But it will stand against that TNT sphere. Oh, Louis, who cares if it looks trash? 
All I care about is Mikey's family. Oh, well, you know what? I'm pretty sure JJ is going to love my pro base. And Mikey is going to hate your base. It's so newbie. I would not want to stay a day inside of it. I'm sure JJ is jealous that he's not going to stay in my fortified base. Well, I have a suggestion. Now that I'm looking at your base, there's only beds and a mirror inside. You need some farming equipment. So let's get a hoe out really quickly, because you're going to need some food. Let's just make a farm outside of the front door of your base, just like Ooh, this. Good idea, Louie. This way, Mikey will not go hungry, and they will be at least happy to stay inside of your base. Yep, and then we're gonna feed them seeds. Um, seeds? Well, I guess that is a good idea. We can grow it into wheat, which makes bread, which Mikey and JJ both like. There you go. Let's just add one more farm outside of the front of your house. This way, you'll always have enough food and a little pathway to get inside. Perfect, but now, Louis, how are we going to protect the farm from all the TNT? Well, that's up to you, Pip. After all, this is your base, even though it looks all newbie, and I wish I could help you. Oh my gosh, well, maybe I should just use the same idea I did for the dirt house and put water and glass all around the farm. I would recommend against it. I think you might need some lasers or something. That way, the <gasps> TNT will get blown away by the lasers. Yep, that seems about right, Louie. Where should we put the lasers? Well, I'm thinking you put them around the corner of your farm, just like this. You put some redstone pillars like that, and then you get some lasers like this. Now, you can place them across the pillars, just like this, and nothing can get past. Wait, why didn't I think of this sooner, Lee? This is such a great idea. I know it is, Pip, and that's just because you're a noob. Once you see my base, you'll be absolutely shocked on how amazing it will be. Oh, Louie, a base can't get much better than this. What exactly could you improve on? Hmm, well, I can't tell you because if I help you, then you might just win. But maybe the comments could help you out. Guys, what would you do to Pip's base to make it better? Comment down below. Wait, Louie, I think I have <coughs> one last idea. How about we reinforce the glass with a bunch of dirt? Oh, no. Pip, I thought you were going to say something really strong like iron, but instead you started reinforcing your base with dirt. Don't you know how weak that's going to be? Louis, what are you talking about? Dirt is the strongest in the game. I've never seen dirt blow up. Oh, well, I guess I will help you, but we don't have long until that TNT sphere explodes. Let's just hope your base is strong enough. Of course it's strong enough, Louis. I am not worried. I'm actually really confident. Okay, Pip. Well, that's as much time as you're going to get to build your base. Let's get Mikey inside and see if it survives the TNT blast. Come on, Mikey, get inside. Pip, are you sure this base is going to hold? Of course it's going to hold, Louis. There's so much water. Well, Pip, Mikey looks very scared inside of there. And I moved JJ miles away to a very safe location. Let's see if Mikey will survive the blast from this TNT. Let's do it, Louie. I can't wait to prove you wrong. All right, Pip. Let's get this flint and steel and see whether your base can survive. Of course it will survive, Louie. I'm not worried. Matter of fact, I'm going to be inside here with Mikey. Um, I advise against that, but okay. Let's see what happens. I'm going to be able to see if the TNT gets inside, Louie. All right. Well, I'm lighting up the TNT right now. Let's see whether it survives. Lives. And here we go! Whoa, 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 oh my whoa, gosh, there's whoa. so much TNT! These explosions are crazy! What just happened? What just I, happened? I'm in the water! Pip, uh, are you okay? Oh, Louis. Oh, Louis, I survived the explosion. I'm okay, but is Mikey okay? Uh, well, let's take a look, Pip, and... Uh, Mikey, where are you? I don't see Mikey, Pip. I'm pretty sure they just no. perished to the explosion. He's got to be here somewhere. D d dig under here. He's got to be down here. It's too late for Mikey, Pip. We need to make sure that JJ is safe from the next explosion. No, Mikey. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Mikey's gone. What went wrong? I thought water was the best defense. Well, I mean, what happened? Well, Pip, what I saw was the TNT exploded, got through your cobweb traps, and then straight into the water like this. Some of them didn't explode your base, but some of them made it over here and exploded outside of the water, ruining the base on the inside. But, Louis, what about my lasers and my glass? How did that not stop the TNT? Well, Pip, the fact is, glass 
Blast is not strong enough to defend against TNT. And also, your lasers pretty much did nothing against it. But come on, we've got to go and protect JJ from the explosion next. You're the one who told me to use lasers. Um, no, I wasn't. What are you talking about? All right, Pip, we are finally here, and it's time to protect JJ. But wait a second. It seems like that TNT sphere just got way bigger. Cowabunga, Louie. How is it so big? Oh, I don't know, but that means we are going to have to build an extremely strong base. It has to be secure this time. Oh, Louie, should we add more water? Oh, no. I've got a good idea. Let's get started. First, I'm going to get a ton of these quartz blocks. And we are going to build in the floor just around JJ like this. Let's make sure to make it really big. Just follow my lead, Pip. Wait, Louie, like this? Like this? No, uh, Pip, you're digging really crazily. We have to dig a large square in the floor. This way, it'll be really controlled, and we'll be able to make a very square-looking building. Let's just fill it in with this smooth quartz, like this. Wait, you said fill it in? Okay, I'll fill it in. No, 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 Pip, not with water. Get some of this quartz and help me fill in the floor. Oh, that's what you mean. Okay, I'll, I'll help you. Out, Louis. All right, I'm glad we're on the same page, Pip. But now, it's time to build a wall around JJ to keep him safe. And I know the perfect block. Obsidian. Dirt. Did oh. you just say dirt? No, Pip. Obsidian is the strongest block in the game. It also resists explosions. Dirt resists explosions too, um, sometimes. Maybe if it's super radioactive dirt. I don't know what kind of dirt you've been looking at. Anyways, Pip, help me build this wall. We need to make it at least five blocks high, like this. But, Louie, why five blocks high? Why not four or six? Well, when the TNT explodes, it still damages mobs in a radius around it. Meaning, if the roof is too close, to JJ's head, the TNT will damage him from the outside and probably kill him. Oh my gosh, Louis, Mikey already died. We don't want JJ to be next. Yeah, that would be a really sad story. What would we even tell their families once they die? Oh, Louis, I, I don't want to think about that, but, but I'd definitely tell them that you killed them. What? You would tell them that I killed them? At the end of the day, Pip, we are protecting them together. So this is a team effort. So it's your fault Mikey died? Uh, no, it's just your fault, Pip. But anyways, let's start on the roof of this base. We need to make this really protected. And I know a really good block. Let's just get some reinforced glass. Do you know what that is, Pip? No, Louie. What is reinforced glass? Could, could you explain that to me? Well, Pip, basically, just like the glass you placed in your base before, it's the same as that where you can see through it, but it's as strong as obsidian, and it doesn't explode when TNT hits it. Wait, Louie, why didn't we use this for my base? Why didn't you tell me to use this for my base? Well, I thought it was your decision on what you wanted, but anyways, Pip, Let's start on this doorway, and we are going to make a secure entrance. Let's do it out of this reinforced glass so we can see the explosion happening as we go. And I'm also going to go ahead and do what you did a little bit, adding some water on the outside just so that if any TNT gets in, it will just pour down the side like this. This is looking really secure right now. What do you think, Pip? I think my base is still a bit better, but your base is looking pretty good. I know, Pip. I'm glad you're liking my base, considering we are going to work together on this to keep JJ safe. But don't forget, Pip, we can't just leave JJ inside of there, really bored out of their mind. We need to give them some entertainment. Like, I've got really good entertainment. I can give you seeds and chess. Oh, Louis, I have the perfect idea for JJ's entertainment. I have a bunch of seeds and chess. Um, Pip, I don't think JJ wants the seeds. They're just leaving them floating on the ground. He doesn't like that. And I don't think he's very interested in chess. That's such a boring game. Oh, Louis, chess is for big brains. Let me show you what JJ would actually like. If I go into my inventory right here, I can search for a sofa like this. And let's make it red, just like JJ. Now, I'm going to go and get a flat screen TV. So watch this. I'll be putting a sofa in the corner of this room, just like that. And then, on the opposite side, I'll be using some quartz blocks like this, and then placing a TV right in the middle. It's kind of difficult to see right now, but I think I'll go ahead and turn it on, and surround it with quartz blocks like this, so that he could see it whenever he needs. Wait, but Louis, doesn't JJ want a mirror so he can kiss himself? Oh no, Pip, don't start with that again! Wait, Louis, what's wrong with... Ooh. 
Stop! JJ, look away! You can't look over there! No, no, let me just block you so you can't you see what Pip's doing. You wanna join me, JJ? No, JJ, don't listen to Pip! It's really nice, JJ, come on, you'll love it! No, 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 JJ, do not listen to Pip! They're trying to turn you into a noob! No matter how many times they kiss themselves in the mirror. You want some seeds, JJ? Are you trying to bribe JJ with seeds? Oh, you know what, Pip? We just need to start working on securing this <gasps> Why'd base. Why'd you break it? No more mirrors. Only security bases from now on. So follow my lead, Pip. We are going to get some iron blocks like this and go all the way over here. This is where our secure entrance is going to be. We'll build it just like that. And to make it extra secure, we will put a netherite block right in the middle, like that. Wait, but how are you supposed to get inside, Louis? The door's shut. Well, Pip, I have an amazing idea. If I go into my creative menu and search for secret trap door, I can get one of these and replace one of these blocks with a trap door. So, as you can see, Pip, I can build these trap doors coming over here. So, as you can see, Pip, I can place an iron block out here, two secret trap doors doors on top of each other, break one of them, and then it looks flush with the wall. If I come outside, it doesn't look any different at all, but it's a secret trap door. That is so cool, Louis. Oh, wait, can I go down there? But just let me add one finishing touch, one more secret trap door. This way, it looks nice and flush, and all we have to do is close this one, Open it and crawl through. It's amazing. That is so cool, Louie. I know. But now, Pip, we have to work on a little bit more on the outside of this base. So let's get out there. Let me just place one more secret trap door so we can climb through again. Follow me. So now, Pip, what we have to do is protect this base from this huge TNT sphere. And what a good way to do it than to get some jungle saplings. What, Louie? What are you thinking? Trees? This is no... No time for trees, Louis. Well, watch this, Pip. If I place four jungle saplings right next to each other and bone meal them, it creates a huge tree. And this will catch some of the TNT just like a net. Oh, Louis, I don't know if this is a good idea, but let's do it. Okay, Pip. Help me out. We are going to spread these jungle saplings out so that they can grow into nice big trees. Just like this. Let's place a few around the side as well. This way we can stop any TNT that decides it wants to come over here. Oh, this one doesn't seem to be growing. Oh, never mind. It's just not a very tall tree. All right, Pip. Let's get started on this right-hand side here as well. Just bone meal this for me. And we have a few more trees on the way. There is no way this base is going to even be touched by the TNT. Well, Louis, there's so many trees. This might actually be a genius idea. Absolutely, Pip. I'm glad you're on the same page as me on this one. But now, we need to go ahead and stop any TNT from getting over the top here. And I have just the command for it. Wait, commands? You're using commands right now, Louis? Absolutely, Pip. We need to do anything we can to keep JJ safe. And, uh, I'm surprised that you didn't use commands in the first place. Oh, wait. You're just a noob. Louis, I thought I didn't need commands. I thought all I needed was water. Well, water is not going to cut it against this huge TNT sphere. We need to make sure that JJ takes no damage and really enjoys his time in there. So, watch this. I'm going to put this command in. Replace air with cobwebs. This way, it will get rid of all of the air in this space right here. And it won't get rid of any of the trees that will also protect us from the explosion. Louis, help! I'm stuck in the cobweb! Exactly, Pip! That is what the TNT is going to do, too. Thanks for demonstrating it. Help! But anyways, Pip, speaking of commands, we need to make this floor really protected. Because if any of this TNT explodes into the grass, it will just go under the ground and blow up the inside of our base. Oh, you're right, Louis. How are we gonna protect it? Well, take a look at this. Remember what I did with the cobwebs just up there? Yeah, are, are you gonna add more of them? Nope. Well, what I'm going to do is just use the same command to replace all of the grass blocks with obsidian. Like this. <gasps> You're a genius, Louis. This way, none of the ground around our base can be exploded. And JJ 
will be safe inside from any TNT that tries to tunnel underneath. And also, to steal a bit of your idea, Pip, I have a pretty good idea myself. Let me just go up here. What idea of mine are you stealing right now, Louie? Well, there is a huge TNT ball just there. So what if we make a huge glass ball to keep the TNT away and deflect it? You're right, Louie. I think this is a great idea. All right. All I have to do is this command right here. This command will make a huge glass sphere around <gasps> our base. As you can see, it is perfect. Whoa, this is so cool, Louie. This is surely going to deflect the TNT away from us. 100%, Pip. But now I think it's time to start working on a secure bunker to keep this TNT away from JJ. But where are we going to put it, Louie? There's not that much space in here. Hmm. Well, maybe we can hide it in some kind of pool. Let's put a pool over here in the corner. Wait, a, a pool right now, Louie? I, I said we need to add an under underground bunker, not a pool. Well, this is the entrance to our underground bunker. Just help me really quickly, Pip. We need to dig down a nice tunnel going all the way down into the ground. Why are we doing this right now, Louis? Shouldn't we use like, I don't know, a ladder or stairs? Not a pool. Well, we can use ladders. Just give it a moment, Pip. As you can see up there, uh, the entrance to our pool is just about here, but it looks a little too insecure mm. to me. Now, what I'm going to do is get some obsidian like this and cover this inside section with it like that. Wait, why are we doing this right now, Louie? Well, this is to make sure that any TNT that might get inside of the house will not get inside of the entrance to our secret bunker. But anyways, Pip, let's keep digging down. Let's go! I'm also going to get a trap door made of iron like this because iron is really strong and sturdy and will keep the TNT out. <laughs> Louie, if that's an iron door, how are we going to climb in and out of here? Well, I'm glad you asked, Pip. As you can see, we can make a nice little area down like this and put a ladder going up. So let me just get this ladder and place it going up out of the base. Now all we have to do to get in and out is press this button and climb our way out. It is a bit difficult, though. Oh, Louie, I doubted this idea, but you might actually be a genius. Thank you very much, Pip. However, Pip, I think we have one problem. <laughs> And that is that stone buttons cannot be placed under water. Oh, Louie, what are we gonna do? Well, Pip, I think I have a good idea. If I go into this little space just down here and place a button on the side, it will get broken. But if I place a sign here and clear out the area of water underneath, I could now place this button right here. But, Louie, that still doesn't fix the problem. How are we gonna get in there? Well, as you can see, now I technically have this button placed under the water. I can cover this up, and now we can press it and open our entrance from here. No way, Louie. Th this actually might work. All right. Go ahead and press the button, Pip. Let me get into the secret base. Woohoo! Wait for me, Louie. Open it for me. All right. I will, Pip. Get inside. I'm pressing the button. You're just not getting in. There oh, we go. sorry, Louie. I'm a little fat. All those seeds get into my tummy. Well, if you're really fat, maybe we should make the inside of this tunnel a little bit bigger. Just just for you. So just help me dig out a little section like this. You know, Louie, now that I'm thinking about it, how did that giant TNT sphere even get here in the first place? Well, Pip, that might be my fault, actually. I was doing a science experiment on some TNT blocks, and then it failed, making all of these TNT spheres just appear out of nowhere. Wait, Louie, so, so I was right. This was your fault. Oh, I'm sorry, Pip. I didn't mean to put everyone's lives in danger. I didn't mean to. Uh, well, at least we're protecting JJ and Mikey now, even though Mikey is dead. Well, Louie, I think we need to forget about Mikey. All we need to do is focus on protecting JJ right now. Okay, Pip, that sounds good. And now that we've got the walls to our secret tunnel going down, we can start on the inside of our actual secret base. But first, I think we need to add one more security door just to make sure that no TNT gets down here and inside. By making the hallway to the door twisty and turny, we can ensure that TNT will not get inside. Genius plan, Louie. Let's do it. Okay, just follow my lead, Pip. We are going to make the we are going to make this hallway nice and twisty, just like that. This way, TNT won't be able to walk this way and around and then get inside. I don't know, Louie. TNT is pretty smart. Maybe they'll walk around here, climb up the ladder, press the button. Mm, I highly doubt it. 
But all we can do is hope for the best. Let's get some obsidian and just get rid of all of this dirt around the outside. This way, we can make our bunker a little more secure. We will also do obsidian for the floor, too. This will keep us safe, as well as JJ. But now, Pip, we need to keep working on this hallway into our main bunker. Let's go ahead and just dig out a little area around here. This will be our staircase to get to our bunker. All right, Louis, sounds like a good plan. How deep are we going to make this? Not too deep, but technically the deeper the better, because the TNT might get very far into the ground. Let's make sure to keep this hallway with the theme. Iron walls and obsidian floor and roof. Wait a second, Louis. What were you even doing in your lab in the first place? Um, well, Pip, as you know, I do like messing around with explosions, and I was working late in my lab one night, and I kind of messed around with too many modded TNTs, which caused this problem. Um, the only issue is I used a little bit of an extra ingredient. I used Chemical X. Chemical X? Louis, w why would you do that? I don't know. I just wanted to see what a strong explosion would look like. And I ended up making these massive mutant TNT spheres. Oh, Louis, I knew I couldn't trust you. Y you killed Mikey's family and you're going to kill JJ's family next, aren't you? No, 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 Pip. I, I really don't want anyone to die. That's why we have to make this base as secure as possible. So please help me. Oh, fine, Louis. Let's build this roof. But what are we going to build after this roof? Well, we are going to build the actual inside of our bunker. Let's just go down a few more blocks and then I can clear out some space down here. But Louis, are we going to do all of this all by hand? Hand? Yep, Pip, we don't have much choice. Come on, let's get digging. Come on, just a couple more blocks and, and done. done. Perfect job, Pip. Look at all of the space we can use to make our secure bunker. This is going to be so secure. But Louie, it's all made out of stone. This is so weak. Don't worry, Pip. I have a good idea. Using these iron blocks, we'll go around the corners of this little cave, just like this. What's this supposed to do, Louis? Well, this is technically just like scaffolding. And if we build it out of iron, it will be really secure and hold the cave roofs up so they don't collapse if any TNT shakes the ground. Cool. Let me help you, Louis. Let me just build this. I'm glad you're helping me, Pip. But now it's time to work on the inside. We just need to finish off these scaffoldings. Just make sure to build it at the bottom as well. This way, it will actually hold up the stone roof on the top of the cave. And there we go. It's all complete, and we have these borders going around the inside of our cave. Let's start on some rooms and maybe put some farms inside. But first, we are going to have to make an entrance. We can't just fall down into our base. Okay, Pip, so now we have the corners of our cave filled out. We need an entrance, because if we just jump down, we will die from this height. Oh, that wouldn't be very good, Louis, but what are we going to do for an entrance? Well, I have a really good idea. As you can see, I'll go a few blocks down and then build a platform made out of quartz like this. Do you know what I'm doing? Not exactly, Louis. Tell me more. All right, well, watch this. We will make it three blocks wide, and this is where our walkway will be. We will have multiple floors that go across this entire cave. What I'm going to do is use this really strong quartz material, and I'm going to make a staircase going down. This way, we can have multiple floors of this platform. Pip, you're doing a really good job job. Just make sure to keep your platform up like this at the top. This way, we can have a nice quartz spiral that takes us all the way down to the ground floor. Will do, Louie. Oh, but Louie, I feel like being underground for so long is kind of affecting me. I just want to be with nature again. I want to go up. Wait a second, Pip. I just got a really good idea. If I use commands, I can take this corner here and this corner here and turn it into grass like this. This way, we have nature down in the caves with us. There's so much grass, but something's missing, Louis. I know exactly what it is. Oh, no, Pip. What is missing? No! no, no, not all of the ducks. Are you bringing your entire family down here, too? I wasn't gonna, Louis, but that's a great idea. Oh, you know what, Pip? This kind of works out in my favor, too, because I will get hungry down here, too. And I really, really no, like KFC. don't you dare. Don't you dare. Pip, I'm just so hungry. Louis, you can eat bread. You can eat bread. You don't have to eat chickens. Um, it's too late, Pip. 
I already took one of your fallen soldiers. No, that was my uncle. Oh, don't worry about it, Pip. We are not worrying about your uncle today. We are worrying about JJ and the sadly passed away Mikey. Come on, we need to keep building before that TNT explodes. But I just had a really good idea, Pip. And because there's loads of chickens down here, why don't we turn this into farmland or maybe some kind of animal farm? I'm going to go across it with some bone meal to grow all of the grass and all of the flowers. This way, the ducks and the chickens can have a really nice natural life down here. And that reminds me, I get very hungry sometimes for a steak. So I'm going to go ahead and get some cows too. This way, when they grow old enough, I can kill them and farm their beef. And also make leather armor for Pip. Woohoo, I love leather armor. It's the best armor in the game after all. I know, Pip. And did you notice, Pip? I think this game really likes us. When I bone mealed the ground, it made yellow and red flowers just for <laughs> us. I wish all the flowers were yellow, but I mean, I guess red is fine. Yeah, and since it's my base, there's way more red flowers in here. And also, I placed more cows in here too. Well, I guess it is your base after all, Louis. I should have thought of these ideas for my base. <laughs> okay, Pip, I've got a really good idea. Now we have animals, we need to be able to feed them. So let's go ahead and dig a space in this wall. This is where we will add a farm inside. Pip, is there any chance you could help me digging? I'm really getting a bit tired from this. Sure thing, Louie. The quicker that we mine out this space, the quicker that we can protect JJ from the explosion. Let's dig it just about this far. This will be good enough. But wait, I just got a really good idea. Pip, how about you keep digging the walls right there while I go ahead and do something in the middle? Sure thing, Louie. All right, guys. What I'm going to do is put some jungle saplings in the middle just like this. And then grow it! This way, we have a huge jungle tree as the centerpiece of our base. Whoa, this is really natural. I almost feel like I'm one with nature, but there is one thing missing, Louie. Wait, we what need is that? some fresh air. We fresh? need some fresh air down here now. Hmm, fresh air. Wait, you just gave me a really good idea. I go over here and take this roof and go all the way over here, too. I can replace all of the blocks on the roof with iron. Like that! As you can see, I've just filled in all of the roof with iron blocks. And now we can start on a ventilation system. But while I'm building that, Pip, how about you start building the farm? All right, Louie. I'm really good at making farms, after all. Let's see how that turns out once you're done. I know you're a noob. But please don't disappoint me. JJ really needs to survive. Blah, 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 Louie. I know what I'm doing. Oh, I really hope you do. I'm just getting the blocks ready to start on my fan. This will ventilate the entire of our cave, meaning that we get all of the fresh air that we need. Let's start in the middle here. I'm going to put some white on the top like this. And this will be the fan. I'll go up one block like this and use this command. Mm. And this will create a circle shape in the roof. Wait. Louis, what is a circle? Well, Pip, in short terms, it's just a shape that is round like this. But it can have many different meanings. But a circle can be many different things. It's technically a shape with no sides or infinite sides. Wait, Louis, that doesn't make any sense. How can a circle have infinite sides? Well, we will never know, Pip. But that is why we call it a circle in the first place. Now, I just need to start working on the fan system for this vent. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and build these really cool diagonal sections like this out of white concrete. This way, it looks like a fan is spinning on the inside. Doesn't that look awesome, guys? I'll also make them go in a curve like this, so it looks like they're spinning. I'll do it with this one, too. Oh, Louie, my farm is coming along so nicely. I just added some scarecrows to my base just in case any birds try to mess with my farm. I added scarecrows. Scary pumpkins. Um, Pip, I don't know about you, but I don't think there's going to be any birds other than you down here, actually. Well, I mean, there's a lot of ducks. I don't want the ducks to mess with my farm. Oh, well, I guess you're right. But this looks a little bit shabby. As you can see, it looks really dirty. And, and there's stone everywhere. 
Let's make this look a little bit better. And I have a really good idea on how I'm going to do it. To do that, I'm going to use these stripped oak log blocks. As you can see, they look really nice. I'm going to go ahead and add a border of them around this farm. As you can see, it looks amazing. What do you think, Pip? It does look pretty good, Louis. All right. We need to make this farm a little bit secure from the TNT explosions, though. So how about we place some obsidian or maybe something even stronger around the outside? Side layers of the wall. Now, what could we even use, Louis? Obsidian looks so bad. We, we shouldn't use obsidian. Well, if we want to stick with the cave aesthetic in here, maybe we should just use some bedrock. As you guys know, this block is completely unbreakable. There is nothing in Minecraft that can get through it. Not even the strongest pickaxe in the game. Oh, Louie, my farts could get through bedrock so easily. Did you just say your farts could get through bedrock? Yeah. Uh, Pip, I don't know how to say this to you, but that is disgusting. But anyways, let's keep building this bedrock wall. We need to get it built as soon as possible. Oh, fine. We'll finish this wall, but you won't get the privilege of hearing about my farts ever again, Louie. Um, I don't think I need to hear about them, Pip. But anyways, as you can see, our farm is now done. And also, if you turn around, you'll see our ventilation fan is also ready. And it's cooling down this jungle tree in the center. Whoa, that is so cool, Louie. Literally. Now, this gives me an idea. If we want to stay cool inside of this base, we need to also keep our food cool for when we cook it. And that also gives me another idea. We need a kitchen. We need food. Come on. Let's start building a kitchen in this space right here. I'm going to separate the area that we want for the kitchen. I think this much space will do. Perfect, Louie. This would be enough space to cook all of the seed cakes that I want. Seed cakes? What about a chocolate cake or something, Pip? Or maybe a cookie? Oh, Louie, I don't like chocolate. What? You don't like chocolate? Guys, Pip is so weird. You know, guys, I don't even believe that people could enjoy chocolate. So like the video if you like chocolate. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Please prove Pip wrong. Chocolate is the best. Chocolate is the worst. But anyways, Pip, we need to get started on our floor for our kitchen. So let's go ahead and clear out some space. All right, now we have all of this space. Let's do a really nice pattern on the floor with these oak logs. As you can see, you place it sideways and then forwards and then sideways and then forwards. This kind of makes it look like kitchen tiles. I don't think you ever would have thought of this as an idea for a floor, eh, Pip? Nope, I probably would have just used dirt. All right, Pip, you place them going outwards and I'll place them going sideways. This way we can make this floor a lot faster. Sounds good, Louie. Let's do it. All right, keep going, Pip. We are almost done. Just place them to the side uh, the right way like this. And then this, 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 and then this. this. Woohoo! I did it so fast. How are you so good at that? Because I'm a pro, Pip, I wouldn't expect you to be able to understand that. But anyways, we need to fill in these walls with these iron blocks. We need to keep building these outlines made of iron blocks so that our kitchen doesn't cave in when we're cooking food. I'm going to use these note blocks on the wall because they look really cool when you add them in as a wall texture. Look at this. Oh, Louie, that looks so good. I know, right, Pip? It gives the wall a really nice layer of texture. Texture. All of these little plus signs on these note blocks have got me thinking, though, Pip. Do you even know how to do math? Of course I do, Louie. One dirt plus one dirt equals two dirt. Okay, well, that's really simple math. But how about as we get this roof cleared out, I give you a math problem and you try to solve it. Oh, I know math like the back of my hand, Louie. Okay, so you know what one plus one is, but do you know what two multiplied by three is? That's, um, two and a half. Two and a half. Oh my gosh, guys. Pip doesn't even know basic math. Comment down below what two times three is, and I will like your comments if you get the right answer. Oh, Louis, I, I only know math in, in seeds and dirt terms. Well, I know you do, Pip. You're a bit strange like that, but I'm filling in this roof with these really cool stone slabs. As you can see, this roof is looking amazing so far. Now, all we need is a nice little bar area. This is where we will cook all of our food behind, and we can hire a personal chef to do all of our work. A personal chef? I've never had one of those. All I eat is 
seems. I know, Pip, but don't worry. We'll get you some of the best food you've ever tasted. Just come back here and we will make a table. And I will make what it out of this oak log. Well, it depends what you want. I could make you hot chocolate or uh, a coffee or a tea or something. Ew, Louis, hot chocolate is disgusting. No one wants that. What? Uh, okay, fine. Listen up. We will make some really good food. I'm going to get an oven like this. And we'll have two so we can cook our food much faster. That's more my speed, Louie. All right, but we also need to make sure that we have chests full of food so we never run out. Let's add a bunch of chests going up the wall like this. And then maybe a few going down here into the ground. Just so we can maximize our storage space. Yep, Louie, I'm already filling the chests up. Perfect, Pip. This is amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Wait, what are you filling the chests up with? Oh, well, the no! only thing we need. Seeds? I mean, I would have understood it if you put the seeds in the farm, but in the kitchen? Yeah, where else are we going to put all the seeds? Listen, Pip, you are really starting to freak me out. You know what is a good food to eat? I would say steak! I'm going to fill steak? up this chest with a bunch of this steak. Well, at least it's not chicken. You know what? That actually gives me an idea. Let me also get a ton of my newest favorite food. Cooked chicken! Wait, th that is my family, Louie. Why did you just put it in the chest? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> KFC is just so good. But wait a second, Louie. If we have this cool kitchen, where are we going to sit to eat? Wait, that's actually a good point, Pip. Maybe we should get some seats out like this. I'll get some chairs, or some red ones for me and JJ, and some yellow ones for you. And as you can see, I'll put a few of this at this bar area over here, and I'll also put one and two out here with a table in the middle. Like this! I'll, I'll also put a green one for Mikey. Um, Pip? I'm sorry to say this, but Mikey is not going to be in this base. M Mikey's what? Mikey's dead. I miss Mikey. Oh, I'm sorry. Me too, Pip. We shouldn't have let Mikey die. All right, Pip. So now we have a ton of food and a ton of seating. But that just reminds me of what we were going to do before. We need to make a cooler room to keep all of our food as cool as possible so that it doesn't go moldy. Great idea, Louie. Let's make this cooling room extremely big. I think maybe about this size right here. Do you see how big it is? Oh, Louie, it's huge. Okay, Pip. Now we've cleared out all of this space. We need to start working on some cooling. So now what we should do is get some ice and also some snow to keep the room very cold. I'll go ahead and throw you some snow. This one shouldn't melt everywhere. Just put it all in the floor just like this, like it's leaking everywhere. I'll place the ice and you place the snow. All right, Louis, I'm on it. I'm placing all the snow into the secure base. All right, me too, Pip. I'm putting some snow against the wall too because this cooler is going to be so cold that there's going to be ice all over the walls. I'm also going to put big piles of ice and snow in the corners too. And just to make sure that everything stays nice and freezing cold, I'll be placing a ton of these iron fans on the roof. These fans will blow downwards, keeping all of my ice from melting. This is a genius idea for our secret bunker. This way, we can have nice cold drinks. We can also make ice cubes. And just in case we get too warm during the summer, we can just stand in this room and relax. But now what I'm going to do is make sure that none of the cold air escapes. So we are going to close off this room here with some of these iron bars. Surely the cold will be able to go through the holes in the bars. But since this room will be warm, it will push back against the cold air and keep it inside. I'll also go ahead and add some iron bars around this wall right here. And I'll add an iron door like this. And on each side, I will put a pressure plate. Let me just get this from my creative menu, like this. And now, I should have entrance to my cooler room. And also, be able to stand inside and be nice and cold. Oh, it's so cold, Louis. I'm getting out of here. All right, Pip. Hop out. But just in case we get too cold, maybe, we should add a hot tub room. Should we put the hot tub room right next to the cold room? Of course we should. Then, we can take nice warm baths 
And then maybe if we are really daring, we can go into the ice cold room and chill out. All right. I don't see any problems with that. Neither do I, Pip. JJ is going to be extremely happy when he sees this. I know I would. I love hanging out in hot tubs. What about you, Pip? Hot tubs kind of burn my feathers a little bit. I mean, I guess that is right. You are just a duck after all. You have really, really thin skin. And you also can't survive in very hot temperatures. But here we go, Pip. Let's just mine out a little hole in the floor that we just dug like this. And let's, and let's dig it down a few more blocks. This way we can have a nice deep hot tub. This will be really good for you because you love swimming. Oh, uh, I mean, I love swimming, but... Not in hot tubs. Oh, well, we can always cool it down with some ice cubes from the cooler room. But come on, help me make the inside of this hot tub out of these really cool wooden materials like this. And now for the floor, I'll just add some iron blocks like this. This way, nobody can cut their feet and it will be nice and smooth. But now that leaves just the wall. And I think I've got a really good idea to make this area seem nice and natural. W what is your idea, Louie? Well, I'm getting some blocks right now. I'm getting some logs, some lime concrete, and I'm also going to get some light blue concrete too. Why, Louie? Well, this is because on the inside of this hot tub room, I'm going to create a natural wall. So I'm going to do some blue for the sky like this. And this will be kind of like a nice painting on the inside of a swimming pool. Now I'll add some green to the bottom like this. This will be for the grass. Whoa, Louis, this is actually really cool. Are, are we going to add like clouds and uh, a sun? Absolutely, Pip. I'm going to go ahead and in the wall, I'm going to add these oak logs like this and add some trees. Oh my gosh, Louis, this is so cool. I know. And soon we are going to add a sun and some clouds too. So help me do this, Pip. We have now all of the trees. What are you doing right now? I'm just trying to make some clouds. Whoa, that actually looks really good especially with the snow blocks. But now we are going to make the sun. So let's make all of this roof out of blue concrete like this. Just help me with this, Pip. We need to do this fast before that giant TNT sphere explodes. All right, Louis, it's all done. But now what? All we have to do is just place a nice bright yellow sun in the middle like this. Doesn't that look amazing? This looks awesome, Louis. All right, I'm glad you agree. Now, let's go ahead and place some water inside this pool. Let's go ahead and place it on the outsides like this, and then on the insides, and fill it all up. Wait, Louis, I, I thought this was a hot tub, so doesn't that mean we need to put lava in it? No, we don't have to put lava inside. In fact, I have a really good idea, Pip. Watch this! I'm getting some magma blocks, and on one side of the hot tub, it'll be hot. But on the other side, it will be cold. This way, your feathers won't get too hot. Oh, that sounds like a great idea, Louie. Thank you very much. But now we have a farm, a kitchen, a cooler room, and a hot tub room. What else could JJ want? Well, Louie, since there's going to be a, a giant explosion, shouldn't we get an armory so we can be safe from the explosion? That is a good point, Pip. I would not want anyone getting hurt from that explosion. Let's build our armory room uh, right here. This way, when we're done in the hot tub, we can just jump across and survive. Go ahead. Let's dig out a massive portion inside of this wall. This armory room has to be big enough to store all of our armor and weapons. It has to be huge. Whoa, Pimp. We got this room dug out so fast. Let's just make sure to section it off like this so it looks flush with the wall. Okay, Louis. But now what? We need to make sure that this armory is really cool looking. And there's no cooler block than Blackstone. Just look at how awesome this looks. It's kind of like a rocky block, but it can be turned into these tiles. And it can also be turned into these smooth stones. Oh, this looks really cool, Louis. Let's do it. All right. Let's make the floor out of these Blackstone tiles. This way, we can add a really cool look to our armory. We will feel like the coolest guys in the world. But now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this polished Blackstone to make some pillars in the corner like this. 
What? Why are we making pillars? We, surely we don't need them. Oh, well, you should be remembering, Pip. As you know, that explosion might rock the Earth. It might just cave in a bunch of rubble on top of our armory. And then it might block the entrance, and we won't be able to escape. You're right, Louis. We need to do this. All right. I have a really good idea for what we should do in our armory. Just add whatever material you want to these walls, Pip. Whatever material I want? Yeah, feel free. All right. All right, guys. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is dig out this wall like this. You'll see what I'm going to do in a moment. It will be super cool. I'm going to get some lava like this and pour it from the roof. But don't worry, I'm not going to be putting me and Pip in danger. I just need some lava to pour down. Then I'll get some red stained glass and I will cover up all of that lava with it. As you can see, guys, this is looking awesome right now. I have now made a lava window. This room looks so cool. And well, wait, Pip, why is that dirt all around the room? You said make the walls whatever material I want. Oh, the dirt is my favorite Pip. block. I didn't say make it out of a weak block. I said make it out of any block. That means anything that isn't weak and terrible. Oh, so did you want me to use sand instead? No, no, no. Don't use sand. I would have preferred it if you used like sandstone or something other than sand. Well, fine, Louis. What do you want as the wall? Well, Pip, I thought you'd never ask. Let me just get some of this. Do you like what this looks like? This... This is endstone bricks, and it's actually TNT proof, did you know? I didn't know that, Louis. Yep, yeah, you learn more every day about this game. I'm always learning. I love learning. If you guys also like learning more about Minecraft, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We learn more every single day, and we can teach you. Oh, Louis, I love learning. Now, all we need to do is just finish off this roof area. What block should we use? Um, maybe we shouldn't use sand. Come on, let me, no, let's just no, put no, sand no, on the roof. Don't use sand, it'll fall down! Don't you know, Wait. sand is the only block in Minecraft that is affected by gravity. Also, gravel, though. Oh, I was just about to put gravel. Hey, listen, let's just use the same block, endstone. This should do the trick just fine. There is no way any rubble is crumbling into our base now. All we need to do is just fill this up with some armor and weapons. But now, Pip, all we need to do is add some armor to our room. So I'm going to go ahead and section these off. This yellow side is your side over here. And I'll make a red side over here for me. I'm going to spend a little bit of time placing my armor down, and when I turn around, your armor better be amazing! Of course it will be! Let's see whose is the best! Come on! Oh, you're going down, Louis. Just you wait. No. You're gonna be so surprised. No way, Pip. I'm already starting on my armor. What I'm going to do is take an anvil like this, and I'm going to place it down. I can also use these enchanted books. Hmm, blast protection should do against the TNT. Now, all I have to do is place these blast blast protection books in with the netherite helmets. This way, I can make some blast-proof armor. This way, I will be extremely protected against the TNT explosion. I'm also, just in case Pip chooses some terrible armor, I'll also give them a set of their own. Look at this awesome enchanted netherite armor, guys. Doesn't this look cool? Just in case I need it as well, I'm going to place a netherite axe inside this item frame. And also, I'm going to put a water bucket too, just in case I get in any trouble. Now, all that's left is to get a chest and put some golden apples inside. Because my base is so OP, I'm going to place a hold of enchanted golden apples. These are really strong. But anyways, my side is now done. I wonder what Pip is doing and... Oh, no. My side's all done. Pip, why have you got a ton of leather armor? And why have you got a stick in this item frame? Louis, I, I just put the best weapons and the best armor in the game on my side. That does not look like the best armor in the game. Look at my armor, Pip. This is way better than yours. Oh my gosh, your armor is glowing. That's how bad it is. Glowing means good, Pip. Glowing is enchanted armor. This, I would say, is the worst because it's not glowing at all. Oh, Louis, you know it all depends on your PvP skill. Do you actually need that good of armor to survive? That um, just proves that you're bad at the game. No, 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 Pip. That just means I'm prepared for battle, whereas you aren't. I mean, I guess I can understand what you're saying.
playing with the leather armor. If you don't even need good armor in the first place, maybe you're just really good at PvP. But anyways, don't you see what I've just done? I've added a massive glass window on the front to make it look a lot cooler. Whoa, Louis. This thing is awesome! I know, Pip, but now I think we've got all the necessities inside of our base. A hot tub, a freezer, a kitchen, a farm, some animals, and a nice big armory! Now, I think we can just decorate the inside of this place to make it seem more like home. We need more fun! And I think a good place to start would be to decorate these walls. Let me just do something really quickly. I think you're going to love it. With this command, if I paste it in, we get a yellow and red wall. And it's made out of concrete, which is a really strong block. Whoa, Louis, this is amazing! I know. It kind of looks like ketchup and mustard, but let's not think about that. Now what we're going to do is do the same pattern on each of these walls. Like down here, over here with the cows. Come on, move! Just like this, over on this wall as well. This wall, and finally, this last wall right here. And now if I look around the room, it looks awesome! What do you think, Pip? This is so cool, Louis. This is the ultimate security base, and it will keep JJ safe from this explosion. And I guess we could kind of use this as our homes. Oh my gosh, Louis, I'd love to live here. I know, Pip, but unfortunately, this base might go kabloom in a moment, which is why we should have a little bit of fun before the TNT comes. Let's make a roller coaster. Oh, Louis, I love roller coasters. All we need to do is clear out a little bit of space Space like this, and this is where our roller coaster can start. I'm going to get some powered rails and some regular rails. Don't forget the minecart. And all I have to do is set up these powered rails, and we can make the Pip and Louie coaster. Pip, how about this? You start on your side of the roller coaster, and I'll start on my side. I'll go here, and you go there, and we'll meet up in the middle and see what our roller coaster looks like at the end. Great idea, Louie. All right, guys. So I'm going to go across and around like this. This way, I'm going to add a ton of twists and turns to my roller coaster. This will probably make Pip really sick. I'll also do it a few times around here, too. And then I'll make it go around in a circle and upwards. Louie, help! The cows are getting on my roller coaster! Oh, I know, Pip! This cow has climbed up as well! Don't worry, I'll help you. Just place one block there, and they won't be able to jump up while you're building. But now, guys, what I'm going to go ahead and do is turn this roller coaster around like this! And it's going to go up and through that tree and then meet Pip on the other side. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to build towards this tree with these red blocks. And it's a very good thing I'm building this out of red concrete because roller coasters have to be very, very strong, especially if they want to stay in the air. But now it seems like I'm meeting Pip back up on their side. Let's just build back down and hey, Pip! It, it seems like my roller coaster has just met yours. And now that I look at this roller coaster, it's going to be awesome! Let's just go ahead and get some redstone blocks so I can power it. So let's place some redstone blocks around your roller coaster just nice and carefully. And I'll also place some more redstone blocks on my side just like this. This is going to be a super fast roller coaster and you should be able to go down it on both sides. I just need to make sure that it's powered all the way around so that I can go whichever way I want. Let's go ahead and build this roller coaster all the way around out of these powered rails. And Pip, are you working on your side? Yeah, yeah, Louis, just these mobs keep interrupting me. Yeah, those cows are pretty annoying, but don't worry, they'll be gone soon when the TNT explodes. I really hope they aren't, guys. I really need this to work. I need to prove that my base will be better than Pip's. And there we go! Our roller coaster is completed. But Pip, I'm definitely not crazy enough to try this out. Do you have the honors of trying it? Of course I do, Louie. All right, give it a go. Hop in and let's go. go push me, Louie, push me. All right. Oh, wait, never mind. You're off. You're off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pip, this looks crazy. Now you're going through the tree, down here, around the curve, and then back to the start. And Oh, no. This is so um, cool. You might be stuck on the roller coaster forever, Pip. Um, uh, not to burst your bubble or anything. Get me off this thing. I, I, I just might puke. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't have Pip puking all the roller coaster. Uh, let's just break it around here. Boom. 
There oh. we go. Oh my gosh, I'm never going on another roller coaster after that, but I think it's your turn now, Louie. Oh, I don't think it's time for me to go on this roller coaster. If you were about to puke, I don't know what would happen to me. Anyways, Pip, I think that's all the time we have to build this underground bunker. We need to get JJ inside and make sure that he stays safe against that massive TNT sphere. Oh no, Louie, I hope we survive. Me too. Come on, let's go get JJ. Okay, Pip, so we We've now got JJ inside of our super secure base. Let's see if that TNT can take us down. There's no way the TNT will get down here. We'll see about that. How about this, Pip? You stay down here and check for any damages underneath. And I'll go up top and make sure the top of the base is secured. Great idea. Here we go. Okay, guys, I really hope this is going to work. Let's just make sure all of my secret doors are closed. Let's explode this TNT ball in three... Two, one, go! Oh, no, 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 Pip. I really on, hope JJ. this works! JJ, hang on tight! Hang on tight! It's holding from the outside so far. It seems like the glass orb is doing its thing. Oh, no. I think we're killing some mobs. The outside of the base has taken some serious damage, Pip. No! It's still fine down here, though. How are you doing down there, Pip? I think the explosions may have stopped. It, it's looking spotless down here, actually. There's not a single damage in sight. Whoa, 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 it's still going! Wait, Louis! Oh, oh my gosh, there's a giant hole in the wall! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Never mind, it just picked up like crazy! Pip, are you okay Louis, on your end? Louis, the base! The base! Are we okay or not? What's uh, going on? JJ's fine, JJ's fine, but the base isn't. Our farm seemed to do really well. It kind of held up the bedrock walls, and our kitchen seems to be okay, but... Wait a second, the freezer room, and wait, JJ's completely spotless! He's okay, but our roller coaster is destroyed! I mean, technically, our base didn't hold up structurally, but in terms of protecting JJ, we did an amazing job! JJ is so lucky, we put him in the one room that wasn't damaged! We totally just survived that TNT explosion, guys! And if you enjoyed that video, make sure to like, subscribe, and press the next video on your screen! Let's go! Let's go!